Cows like a horse. That was... Oh, I don't know how I could click more directly on Zoom Tiff. Get up! I don't know how I could click more directly on Sir Tiffy. Why does the bench have click priority? I don't want Tiffy time. I want to go on a quest, okay? Good day, proselyte. Is there anything I can do for you? No, shut up, Void Knights. <laughs> Nobody saw that. It didn't happen. Do you have any jobs for me? No, oh, you are eager, aren't you? No, shut up. I, it wasn't on purpose. I misclicked. As a matter of fact, I do have a small design. Look at my look at this cheese. No, cheesecake pr takes priority. He doesn't want to look at the cheesecake. He's got stuff to do. He's a busy man, the captain. It's okay. It's okay. It wasn't nothing exciting anyway. I see my cheesecake. Nobody's excited about my cheesecake. I'm the only one that's happy about the cheesecake. I wish you could play this game as Zora Link from Majora's Mask. I wish anyone cared about my cheesecake. If I walk into a dude, I'm fucked. If I walk straight into a guy, we're just done. Oh shit, it's got bonus stairs. He's a fucking madman. I jumped over him. <laughs> See ya, bitch! Yeah, Venezuela, that's where my brain goes to when talking about inflation and not like... Zimbabwe? Fur affinity. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have to like get rolling attack punishes. Kill him once they're gonna hit him again once they're down. Oh! Don't look, chat! It's not suited for all audiences! <laughs> You're taking a nail. can talk about this um okay so there's an animation for just straight up gallaghering somebody who's asleep um Help. 
I'm stuck. Wait. Hello? I thought I heard somebody come through the fog gate. Help, help. If anybody's there, I need assistance. I'm really stuck. Please help. I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding. Better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles. For trucks tougher than a drunk <laughs> marine come to Mike's pre-owned, where we do the things Am I that get things fucking copyright struck for a Toyota commercial? <laughs> What's this game? It's the DLC for the witness. Didn't hit the fucking nightmare? He has a fucking <laughs> Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. We'll go and dig it up for you. It's kind of like how when you go to Taco Bell after a long day. Oh my god, if this is the three bandits. I felt it in my soul. Dialga spoke to me from eight seconds in the future. Like the quest line that, that adds this to the game is not added yet. Backwards daddy looks just as well. Sofa them, sofa men. Sofa them is metaphors backwards. If you just use the PH as a single entity. Every day. Every day we stray further from God's light. <laughs> God fucking damn it, they caught me again. <laughs> Oh, hey there. This is a weird fucking bit, isn't it? You want to watch a fully grown adult human get lost and then stuck on an incredibly simple puzzle for like four hours? Stick around. give guns to the cats if we gave guns to the cats they wouldn't be able to do their luigi dash attack that just does a comically huge amount of damage to everything in front of them director scar omnicarus deronia carnotaurus one starting us off with a very early cannonade that's not on the schedule because i'm gonna have to stop streaming early today so we'll start streaming early so we're still gonna fill full stream in here because it turns out I need to run the show for Secrets Between the Stars tonight, which isn't until 7, admittedly, but I need to do the setup and everything before that, so I need to be out there probably like 5.30 or 6, which means I have to do all the stuff that I would normally get done this evening before that, which means I'm probably going to have to stop streaming at like 3.00. Or something like that. Somewhere around that general target. I'm not sure. So normally we stop at five. Fuck it. We'll start at 11. We'll put two hours in the front. Take two hours off the end. Call it a day. But uh, yeah. I'd, I'd rather do that than not have secrets between the stars. We gotta, we gotta help the fellas. We gotta keep the UGT show cruising where we can. 
So it's early Pal World time. Also, I'm addicted. So, <laughs> so obviously, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna start it early if it means I get to play more Pal World. So here we are. <laughs> we have switched to Steam. Because they apparently just get updates, which is a thing that the Game Pass slash Xbox version does not really get so much. We moved over, which meant we had to start over. However, comma, it is fucking insane. Day six. It's crazy how fast you can just rocket back through the early game when you have the slightest clue what you're doing. So we haven't completely and totally caught up to where we were, but we have like the 80 fucking percent. Plus we have a base that's dramatically better set up than what we had before. Uh, we've got things just much, much more together. Things are making a lot more sense. The base is a lot more functional. Oh, you quit, you're right. You can quit your job to come planting. I wish assigning, you're like, you're assigned, aren't you? I mean, it's fine that you come do this because the reason that I got rid of our other planter is because you keep fucking coming over and doing this. But like, you're... Ping would just bowled him the fuck over and made him drop his shit. You're assigned to not that. But you're doing it anyway. Pretty confident you are hard locked to the lumber mill. Maybe it's just for the best that we just let everyone do whatever the fuck it is they want to do. Maybe it just works better that way. Let them do all their things. We need ore. We have metal pick. We have metal spear. We have not yet made metal axe. We don't have an egg incubator because in this version of the game, egg incubator was moved to boss loot. And the thing we are definitely a little behind on compared to where we were before was you know, having a team. <laughs> Does pathing work now? I think the pathing in the game is just as bad as it was before. That said, we've made a much more open plan base. So I think pathing is working a lot better because our pals can actually get to any of the shit. Which is sort of a big deal. That's that's what's really helping us out. We got some stat points. Let's throw them into stamina. Thank you. Get some of that in there. Thank you, fellas would like oh i have no paldium very little wood and stone what are you guys fucking doing why do i even have a logging encampment she like barely functions <laughs> like really it gets its most of its value when you leave for like three end game days and then come back and have tons of shit because yeah it's not like i'm stuck it's not fast this is two cats working together it's not quick we need some motherfucking paldium and we're definitely not at the point where the crusher is going to be any, any value to us because we haven't reached the stage of having the surplus of stones and wood and whatnot to just cram into it to get other shit. So let's go on an ore and paldium harvesting little mini adventure. Because those are the things I need the most. I need ingots. I feel like there's a, a point here. And what I'm going to call the phase two early game. Where you just need a zillion ingots because they have no degree of automation. I can get stone and wood. I don't think the stone farm actually produces any ore at all. Depressed though, you're a miner. Oh, you can't mine ore because you're mining too. All right, so just sit there and be sad and watch me do it. Just... I guess just sit over there and have depression. You're doing great. You're, going, you're doing good, Depressed though. I appreciate you. Then, of course, we have to go fight Zoe, which we haven't done yet because we have done basically no, like, battle or taming shit. We have just kind of speed ran through base and personal upgrades to get as far as possible. You know, then we'll worry about all that stuff. Aldium. 
hungry. Whoops. Oh, okay, so you can feed yourself if you're completely full. I was curious if it would let you do that. It will. You can absolutely just throw it into the fucking void. So, you know, try not to do that. Hey, come back, Depresso. Thank you. What's up, Red PhD? How you doing? And I do not have the carrying capacity for this. I should have grabbed a mining form. I forgot. I forgot that I should be making specific teams. Hey, you little wigglers. Hmm. Yeah, I was like, this this last one might kill him. I'm just going to kind of hope it doesn't. Everyone's playing this goddamn game? Yeah, it passed. It has passed two million concurrent players. Two million concurrent. Only one game. And that is okay. Let me let me actually let me stop right there. Two million concurrent players on Steam. It's also both on Xbox and on Game Pass. So it's fucking free on Xbox. That's still not even counted. Gosh, shit. Whoops. Oopsie poopsie, I did a murder. This. 600.6. Are you serious? This is a phenomenon. Truly the likes of which has I, has not been seen before. Like, it's, it's in, insane. It's unfathomable how fucking popular this game is. There's a chest. I have a key. I could open it. I'm full, though. What's up, Olivic? How you doing? There is one game in the history of Steam that's ever had more concurrent players than this. And it's not Dota 2. This game passed Dota 2 which is free it's not fucking a counter strike which this game just passed yesterday it's ahead of cyberpunk it's ahead of elden ring it's unbelievable like it's it it doesn't it doesn't make any fucking sense how popular this game is it's it's truly like beyond understanding. Hmm. God damn it! Someday, have to open will latch into my brain hole. Today's not that day though. You had Fortnite. I'm gonna let you think about that one for a second. You, you're saying it's you, you think it's behind Fortnite in Steam concurrent players. To let you take a second to think about who owns Fortnite and where Fortnite lives. I would honestly be extremely curious. I'd be super curious to see how it compares to like Fortnite's peak concurrent player base. But no, it's PUBG. PUBG had that one like crazy little fucking renaissance era where it just went insane. What? And hit like 3 point fucking 2 million, which previously was, I think, triple the next highest player base game that there was ever, or next highest peak in current game ever. And now is not quite even double how the mighty have fallen. Okay, nobody's fucking making these, so... What? You do it. You have hands, right? Presto, where you go? Stop. The children yearn for the mines. Do this. I don't know why no one's doing these. That was my crossbow, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. It's dark over here. I can't see shit. 
Damn it. I wish I could use my hands. Ooh. I've streamed for over 10 years. Been creating content for closer to 15 and been playing video games since I could hold a fucking controller. I wish I had the mental capacity to use the fingers on my hands. It's really truly unfortunate that I don't. Welcome, squidling, to the squiddy pool. Z falls as ah. Boy, what are you doing, the pool, you the shiniest Do you squidling. need help? Are you being held against I'm your will? Playing world, obviously. I don't know what is it not a, is that not apparent? Fox sparks, where are you going? Fox sparks, you didn't even make a single ingot. Oh, I guess to sleep. Oh, no. Okay, we have a problem. They can't pass. Okay, I guess it's a losing battle. It's clearly a losing battle trying to make your base pathable because Fox Sparks cannot walk from here to there through this giant open space. It had to walk all the way around the outside of my base. So... That's the wake-up call, I suppose, to accept that there is no point trying to make a pow pathable base. It's not possible. They are beyond fixing. Oh, but, and then you... Okay, maybe that was just a fluke, because you went back in this way. Maybe it was the boulder. It could be the boulder. Okay, the reason I cared... Oh, the penguin took over from the cat's job. Pingle is here to do the work now. The reason I cared... Do I have health armor? Is that what I've got right now? I have health armor. Okay, cool. I want the crossbow, which takes ingots and nails. How's the tech tree looking? Got six points, which means we haven't unlocked a ton. Let's see. Are you awake, let alone streaming? It's 11 in the morning! How late do you think I sleep? Brother. I want Fox Fox's harness. I want to use flamethrower cat. Because flamethrower cat seems like it's hilarious. And then I guess we'll go. Get a defensive here. Need some more pal spheres. Ooh, that's what I want to see, baby. Can I make 30 of these, thank you. That's the shit I want to see in my life. Okay, this takes ancient civilization parts, which we have zero of because those do come from dungeons and we haven't done any of those. <laughs> we have done zero. Zero dungeons. None dungeons. Should nails live? Oh, and the other chest with the nails. Fair enough. Would make a squid come a junk we seem to have evolved into a real person. Yeah, I mean, normally most days, it's most streaming days, because it's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I get up at like 7 and go to the gym. I've already done all that today. I got up, I went to the gym, I've worked out for an hour, I've had breakfast, I've taken a shower, and then I was like, all right, it's time to stream because I'm going to have to end early today. So let's get some fucking Power World on the board before I got to go. Let's get some fucking gaming. I don't want to go super far from the base. Uh, before these pal spheres are done, because I need want a big stack of pal spheres for a head out. Holy shit, color X! What the hell? Hello, how you doing, yeah. Brud? Yeah. Welcome. I just started. I don't even feel like I'm awake enough for this shit right now. But welcome in, everybody. Hope you had a good stream. If you never seen this before, my stupid ass is addicted to pal world right now. But we play a lot of everything. A lot of the everything falls into the same general category of this. That is to say, survival zombie craft Z. I'm addicted to power world. Me too, buddy. You can tell by the fact that it's 11 in the morning and I'm live. 
And while I say that, it's because I'm going to have to end my stream slightly earlier than usual, and I wanted to start early to get a full-length stream, and you motherfuckers know I would not do that if I were not playing a game I really wanted to play a lot of. Yeah. It was pretty pretty early game. We just uh, restarted to switch over to the Steam version yesterday, day before yesterday. Whatever my last stream was, we just switched over. So it's a pretty fresh world. I'm trying to get caught up. Caught back up to where I was. Apparently the Game Pass version uh, is having some difficulty with the update cycle. But welcome in, everyone. I haven't really looked up crap about this game. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, at the moment, it's getting a bunch of rocks. And then I got to go refight Zoe. But then I'm pretty much, I think, back where we were. I don't have a team that doesn't, you know, suck balls. So, yeah, the Zoe killing thing might take a minute. I don't have any stamina. Take stamina to do the flying. I should probably have some stamina before I do the flying. Mm -hmm. Off we go. This goes at a dramatically downward angle. The, the, the glider is, I mean, it glides. It, that's what it says on the tin. But boy, howdy, that, that goes down very rapidly. Open. Put the crap in there. Some random bread that I found. <laughs> Grab five daydreams. They'd still need to be leveled up. I don't, I don't think a bunch of, like, level four daydreams are gonna do very much to Zoe. I don't think she's gonna care, really. She... The problem is not that she does a ton of damage or is exceptionally powerful. The problem is that she's very fucking tanky. Very fucking tanky. I mean, I'm curious, a little curious that that'll be different. How do I get the... Oh, I have spear work, bench. I just gotta make it. Ah. Ah, when do I get the... We're already there. I need more fucking nails again. Son of a bitch. Okay. It's probably time to start deleting the excess... Crap workbench? 30k health or something? Yeah, she had something like that. She had somewhere on the order of 30,000 health. Which is obscene, because most bosses I've fought had sub 1k. I'll spend 5 ingots on get some of these made. Because they I can't keep needing them for things. And then... Right ancient of parts. Let's make my crossbow. Where's my fella? I've really done pretty good work, honestly. The, the base is mostly working. I need to pull my fella out right this second. Oh, Denossum's hungry. Is this still sustaining itself? He has 286 fucking berries. We're good. A horde of daydreams could probably do it. We just need it. Hey, can you help this little penguin by? He's taking forever. Oh, two of you. Okay, so I can work on a bench with a pal, but two pals can't work on a bench with each other. Okay. I didn't know that. I need one more green imajig and my capture power goes up. I have like no souls and also no team. I need some lads. We need some fellas to get on the board here. <laughs> Did you stop blowing on the one furnace to go blow on the other furnace? Did you just that one looked more... You just wanted some variety. I can't fault you for that. I know as well as anyone how much a little bit of variety in the workday just makes it so much easier to deal with. Back when I was working at fucking retail, I would sign up for any stupid little odd job. There's so many, like, weird little things that nobody else wants to do. Like... Cleaning the giant fucking vents to get on like the scissor lift to go all the way up and clean I'm like fuck yeah I want to do that dude I want to do literally anything other than just drag carts around to the parking lot I will do literally whatever if it's variety okay crossbow engaged 133 arrows we got a gats let's go we need even 600 a little more carry capacity all right, the Blippy has returned to us. Now I can commit die. We got our fucking gat back. It's big business. The penguin got bored of working on the nails, I guess. 
What did I just want the nails for? I'm gonna level with you. I already forgot. It was the pal sphere bench. Which requires six more nails. And then, okay, I assume this is like a defensive post. I raids. Have we even been raided on this save yet? I would assume this is the easiest and most defensive. I hope they'd come from this direction. They'd make my life a lot easier if they came from this direction. Here comes the fucking army. <laughs> Hello, fellas. And then I can probably assign somebody to this. Oh. Oh, this is for me. This is for me to monitor them. I thought this was like a defensive post. I thought this was a thing that was for like the pals to, I don't know. I thought it was like a guard post. This is no, this is not a guard post. This is my overlord's throne. You guys aren't coming to help me on this. You're not getting up here. I know you're not getting up here. You, okay, well, let me put my overlord's throne in, a, in an appropriate location. So if I want them to pump, this is the... I can command them to pump. <laughs> this, literally all this does is to tell your fucking pals to get the goddamn sweatshop going. <laughs> like, come on, motherfuckers, do business. Work speed, movement speed, sanity deflation, hunger deflation. Okay. Well, with the sanity... I mean, obviously I haven't tried it yet, but I... Don't immediately see how this would make anything more productive, and maybe that's, like, the joke. Because this, the limiting factor is sanity depletion already, right? Because their sanity starts depleting, and then they have to stop and go sit in a hot tub for ten fucking minutes. So that's... That's already the thing that stops them... ...is sanity depletion. So if it just increases their sanity depletion, I don't see how that helps. Hmm. I can't put this in here. Oh, I can. It's it's the pal box. The pal box is giant ass radius is fucking me. Okay, let me align this a little better then. The, store, the saga of the Pal Box and its humongous no-no zone. They're my ingots and I want them now! It does seem like it'd be pretty useful to... Yeah, like, I need you guys to build a bunch of shit and I'm literally just standing here waiting on you. Like, hypothetically, right the fuck now. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Go uh, be free, my child. It'd be useful. Pump some megaspheres. When you're bored over there, pump some megaspheres. Okay. Is there anything else we should be building? I have two categories of storage now. Wheat plantation requires more wheat seeds. We gotta find the merchant for that. I can make a gate. That seems smart. We should probably make it a gate. I assume this is gonna prevent raiders from getting in as easily and we can just kind of like hold them here I don't think they can help me build this I think I have to do this myself but that's fine we can gate the bridge at least so this is part of the defenses so you can make like an outer defensive wall and then you can put a gate in it it's humongous oh my god it's also probably too far back I think it needs to be like that looks more like it that looks more like what I'm looking for that's a big fucking gate alright that's the raider be gone hopefully I don't think we've been raided on the steam version once 
because that was where I got the little lizard wearing a hoodie. Was I only saw I've only seen him in raids. Fox Sparks is slacking off. He's pissed off about me making him forge 300 fucking ingots. That's fine. I'll figure it out. All right. We should go do any dungeon. <gasps> Wrong button. And also probably try and pick up some bosses. Let's grab chill it. Put it back with the door to open out. I think the door is open out from wherever you are. I don't think they open in a fixed direction. What? You come out, you're getting a poke. Ah, yes. The ranged weapons make... Ooh, that was an artisan tansy. That's fucking sick, honestly. Can't tansy do a ton of work... Uh, different work things? Okay, there's like no drop. I don't need to account for drop. Just hit head. <gasps> Toby! Ooh. Got his ass. Why don't you come out of there? Give me your experience points. The metal spear spoke like, spoke like it's supposed to. Yes, metal spear works on dispersion. Yeah. He's gonna need the poke. He's gonna require some poke. Hmm. Back in the fucking ball! Requires some light stabbing. Right, light stabbing completed. I did not make a stone axe for a lot, but that shouldn't matter. I don't yeah. typically go out. I like how you can bounce the ball. Like, it doesn't become void when it touches the ground. Are we going the right direction for this boss, by the way? Not really. I think I need to go through the fort. I need to go more like that. He's like up there kind of kind of situation, I think. Oh, apparently I can just climb over that. That's, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, the spear does work in this version, so that's neat. That's good. Oh, itchy. Oh. I like it when my stabby spear is stabby and also a spear and not just like a weird swinging club that's got a pointy bit on the end that my character is confused about how he's supposed to use. Not loaded. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the tansies. So yeah, catching pals gives me a shit ton yeah. of XP. Fighting gives the pals a shit ton of XP. So now we have the opposite problem of what we had on Welcome the Game Pass version, which is that I'm the leveling up pretty effectively and my pals are like no level crimes two. Happen in pal world. Anything saying otherwise is grounds of heresy. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no crime. I am the law. There's nobody else out here. 70 months in the pool, Tustuki. You with the shiniest squidling. When you are like the sole explorer of the universe, the law is whatever the fuck you decide it is. Okay. Who's not level two? The high chicken. I guess he's only 11. Okay, let's try this shit. Let's see how this goes. Capri? Oh, excuse me, sir. Hold on. You're always going to be here. Who the fuck is that? This motherfucker's not going anywhere. What the hell's a Capriti? Oh my god, look at him. Ow. Surprisingly tanky little fella. Don't die. It's important that you don't die. What is this thing? I love it. The shrub on this pal's back produces berries as long as it's properly fed. It offers berries to potential mates if the flavors are liking romance blossoms. <laughs> Beautiful. So can I ranch you for berries and then just cut out the entire fucking berry pipeline? Because that'd be great. What? Okay, 
Okay, you know what? That's a pretty good fucking pal ability. I, for one, am on team, on, a uh, SMG EV's fucking team now. I try not to get poisoned again. That's a hurty. Hey, don't find my little EV. Fuck you. No! She got one last attack off where I could recall her. Fair enough. Fixed point in the timeline. We're not allowed to have a chill it. You know, that does enough damage. It makes me wonder if we could actually just go say fuck it and go fight Zoe. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sure we can. We could just dodge her for 10 years. Lift. Ooh, green thingy. Lift monkey is fucking hurdy. It turns out giving a rat an SMG uh, is it's still a, a rat with an SMG. D the rat part's less relevant when it's firing automatic weapons. I kind of want to just take an army of lift monks now and just rotate through them. Just rotate through all the SMGs. Just go down the fucking line. SMG and four daydreams. Holy shit. That would... That sounds like gas. Honestly, that sounds like fucking gas. Ah, oh, this is a very loaded place. What the hell? Thank you, Fox Sparks, for cooking the mushrooms I left in the campfire. Appreciate what? you. Aren't you supposed to be making yeah. ingots? Didn't I specifically manual assign you to the ingot factory forever? Okay. That's how humans suck against monsters, but Smith and Wesson made a sequel. I don't even have the gun! The monster has the gun! If anything, it's monsters suck against other monsters. Well, the good boys at the fucking cult factory decided they'd go ahead and level that one out for us. I should probably do, like, a dungeon. Isn't there one, like, right at the base of the, uh... Oh, yeah, it's literally right here. We should do... a dungeon. We at least attempt to get a boss monster, even though I very consistently just kill them. Depresso. Go give him depression. I'll work, Depresso. Is this regular ore? No, this is giant paldium. Ooh. Oh my god. I was like, that doesn't look like normal ore. That looks like giant paldium. Okay, so paldium comes from dungeons. Do I don't have to keep mining these little dumpster rocks out by the river. There's a comically large amount of it in here. I mean, there's a lot of ore in here too, but also sulfur, which we currently have zero of. Oh, I don't have any of you yet. Slap. Hey, before he fuddles you, I might want to get in this ball. What I just fucking tell you. In the ball. Fuddrucker. Okay. All right, he's been fuddled successfully. Good work, Depresso. Okay. You throw a spirit to thugs and it doesn't say anything funny if you do. I've never tried. I haven't tried to throw a Pokeball at a guy. Daydreams! That's fucking teamwork. Working together. Presto, go fight. For America. Go work, Depresso. 
I gotta catch her before Depresso fucking murders her ass. I need my army. I need my army of magic nukes. <laughs> okay, so we'll get a bunch of these motherfuckers and we'll get legally distinct Leafy on with her smig and then we'll just go see how hard we can fuck up Zoe with just a billion fucking assistance pals. Hey, Fuddles. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. That's okay, I need leather anyway. No, I get leather from catching regardless. Hi. Good day, sir. Get him, Depresso. <laughs> Imagine a boss daydream. A boss daydream would be nuts. My base is currently manned by a syndicate. Thug. Wait, can you catch people? Wait, what? No fucking way you can catch people. What? I would never in a million years have even had the thought to throw a fucking Pokeball at a guy. No fucking way. All right, the capture rate is like nothing. Oh my god. The capture rate is comically low. So you need some gigaballs. I swear you already caught a person in the Game Pass version. 100% I have never done this. Oh, we got the first jiggle. I'll give it two more. I'll give it one more ball. This is funny, but it seems like it's a job for not default spheres. Because I'm pretty sure it's just funny. I'll give you one chance to join the team. 15%? I'll give you two chances to join the team. You are at, like, actually one hit point. This is about as good as we can get it. I don't want to use too many balls because I want to catch the boss. I caught a fella! We just, we just got a guy! <laughs> we, we just got a dude! <laughs> That's just an actual person. He had a Paldex entry and everything, and the Paldex entry just said it was a war crime, which is, you know, understandable. <laughs> Probably should be. Uh, that's against the Palapagos Geneva Convention to fucking catch humans. But hey, these motherfuckers are the ones running around gunning down Pokemon, so, you know, fuck them, right? I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat all this cave bread. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I just caught a- there's just a dude. Oh, there's a lot of paths here. Let's just hit always- let's stick with always turn left. So I don't just get lost in here. A lot of branching directions to go. Instead of the gulag. I wonder what, like, work they can do. Ow. Because, like, logically, it should be every. That's not a path. Logically, it should be everything, right? He's just, he's a guy. He should be able to do anything. He can give him a tool, and I'm like, work. This is quite literally just slavery, but... Because I guess he's now bound. Can I send him out and he's a battle pet? Can I make him just fight like he's a Pokemon? This... Can he be a part of my team? He has to obey me or I'll put him back in the sphere. He literally does not get an option. Oh, I'm not loaded. Oh, well. Shouldn't have run away, little dickhead. It's 
thing's not even fighting me. Because he's fighting the team over there. Look, I really can't spare a lot more balls. You better stop or I'm gonna put your ass in fucking prison. So if that's the case, why do these guys not try to catch us? These are like the primary source of pal balls as a drop. Well, they just throw shit at me. They have them. What? This is like the functioning. Because the game would end. My brother in Christ. You die in this game sometimes. That does not end the game. Why would getting caught in a Pokeball do anything else? If bound by the morality that we have transcended. I'm committing Pokey crimes. I'm a Pokey war criminal. Let's go, Depresso. Every human faction that catches use cages because they specifically don't have spears. They literally drop spears. They, they, ha they don't. Not only do they have spears, they have spears on their person at all times that you then pick up from their dead body after you've killed them. I guess he doesn't want to throw 31 fucking spears at the protagonist. I'm not loaded. Ooh, so that's not even the drowning sound. That's just the funny noise they make. So I just got two pal spears off that guy. I think the presto is a little stuck. Kobe! I'll just let him beat you like that, Depresso. Depresso is taking none damage from this guy. He does not care. None fucking damage. That guy doesn't do anything with his dumb little stick. Can you imagine the capture on the protagonist? He's trying to use Premier Balls on full HP legendaries. Seem easy. Can one of our pals Kobe before we throw it out? Can I name pals now? Has that been fixed? Ah, I can. Okay. That's an X. That's a Game Pass version thing. You can name pals. Is that a fucking Ruby? Ooh. Not only is it a boss, it's a new fella. Okay, we got a brand new fella. I right, take out his ads first. Yeah. Pretty soft. Also, the boss is extremely chill about me kidnapping her children. Wild Ruby never gets sick. The one piece of charcoal a day made by burning a branch is the secret to its eternal health. Okay. Let's get a couple rubies. A couple rubuses in here. All right, now the important one. Oops, I was loaded apparently. Let's not fuck this up. Yeah. Wrong button. Come here. It's got a clock. Now you should probably come here because I imagine you're going to struggle a little bit as a grass type against the thing. It's quite literally just a fire deer cat thing. I'm honestly not confident what kind of animal this is. Oh, she, she's poisoned. Okay, she didn't get poisoned. All right, I have one mega sphere. There it goes. Give me boss. Yeah. Oh. Negative trait. I think that's just defense down, which to be fair sucks, but is not the worst. All right, yeah, boss fights. Boss fights are where the homies get XP. This entire party has caught up to us now. You were brave versus that crit? Brave or stupid? 
Oh! Oh! Uncommon crossbow? Don't fucking mind if I do! I'll take the shit out of that! Oh, that's my, my main weapon, but better? Yes fucking please! It's brave because it worked. If it failed, you were stupid. Oh. Okay. This is my storage trunk of schematics. Do they stack? They do. Okay, cool. Um, rubies are probably some I should hang on to, and ancient civilization parts are definitely some I should hang on to. The rest of this is just random. What the fuck? Oh, capriti meat. It's berry meat. Delicious berry meat. From I didn't kill any of them though. What's up, Sandfox? How you doing? Auto stack. Bing bing. Auto stack. Auto stack. All right, you're gonna take this. Uh, Pulsos also go in here because they are a currency. Auto stack. Hey, right, we're doing good. Let's take a look at some stuff. We have some things to look at now. We've got some things to investigate. Oh, I need to build a cooler box still. Not that I care about it because it's straight up never going to get used, but I need to build one to advance my base. I'll make it for the megaspheres. Now I have five megaspheres. You get the damn egg incubator going. Seems important. Are we going to name our thug? Good question. Not sure yet. Steven, probably. I mean, I say good question, but really, it's a pretty stupid question. I'm going to name him the same thing I always named them. Is this your first, uh, first stream? <laughs> okay, step one, cooler box. I must pay the 20 ingot tax to upgrade my base. I'll put it right next to the fire where it'll stay nice and cool. We're making him miserable. Clearly, it's Brian. Uh, I saw that he was a positive thinker. It's definitely not Brian. That guy got captured for eternal enslavement in a magical ball made out of a weird blue rock, and he's like, you know what? It could be worse. Honestly, if anything, this is probably better than what I, my previous line of work was. I should be thankful for the opportunity. just punched a random wild tree he got tired of punching the regular trees uh that's second base unlock all right wheat plantation we're a little stuck because we need to find the merchant because wheat seeds come from buying them so pro tip to people who start this game do whatever is necessary to be able to purchase three wheat seeds that first night when the merchant is guaranteed to show up do that otherwise it's a pain <laughs> just a guy he's just a dude all he can do is handicraft that's all you can do humans are not pals therefore they do not possess partner skills <laughs> he's a positive thinker he's always looking at the silver lining <laughs> It's so funny that they just suck ass. <laughs> they just suck ass and don't do anything. They're just fucking useless. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> okay, rubies. Who immediately rolled. Oh, it's sanity drop. Oh, it doesn't even fucking matter because you're going to fight with me. Well, and team increased attack power of fire pals. Okay. So you are a party buffer. You are a party buffer for spicy boys. So it'll be better, hypothetically, to bring you with box sparks and drop maybe chickpea. And we'll say that's our team for right now. What else? Oh, but then there's the daydreams because the daydreams they go ham what about you caprity what do you do you're new 
You have level two planting, which I assume means you can plant fancier things. Sometimes drops red berries on its back when it's trying to ranch. Yep, that's what it does. You can ranch it for berries. And it, I assume this means takes a ton of fucking food. He's a very hungry boy. So we can be farmed for berries and you can also plant the berries. So we can, we can completely throw out our entire like, berry system. And instead of doing all of this shit, we could just ranch a Caperty. That seems... I can just... If this is a dumb idea, I can just rebuild them. But I'm gonna have our new pal be the Caperty. Yep. And you... I mean, it should be the only thing you can do because all you can do is ranch and plant and there's nowhere for you to plant. But you just be get farmed. Welcome get farmed and graze. To the we'll just stick that. Lemon drop shots! Hello. Welcome to the squiddy pool. Go with the shiniest squiddling. Thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Free money button. I love it. It costs you nothing to press and it gives me two dollars. That's pretty nice. It's a good setup. How you doing? Is auto stack not working? Oh, it's quick stack and I'm stupid. There he goes. R rather. Mr. Noodle Arms over here has the power of Titans to pick up any power. Yeah, I mean, I can pick up Dinosum, so I, or this guy. It's kind of insane. Yeah, I can just lift anybody. It's not, it's not an issue at all. This is unreasonably jacked, this man. Okay. So you're useless because it's impossible to convince a fucking pal to just, what are you doing? Fox Sparks, get off the, Fox Sparks, get off the table. I love how they just go ragdoll when you pick them up. They just turn into fucking noodles. Go over here. This is your home. Go over here and make four ingots. Thank you. Okay, so it, I think it is reloading the save gets rid of all your fixed assignments. I think that is 100% what it is. Okay. We have a functional team right now. I would like maybe to replace Depresso with Daydream. I think... For purposes of fighting, it seems like Daydream is just strictly better. Because I can make Daydream just become the warrior. And if I have a Lift Monk sitting on my head just hosing people down with a gun, and I have Daydream just spamming. Yeah. Oh, I need you, need you. You do it. Make this. Now, hey, a raid! The fellows are coming. Which side? That's a lot of them. That's a lot of fellows. Holy shit. That's a large, that's a large number of fellows. They came for their boy. <laughs> They're seeking employment. Yeah. Come here. We will meet them with gun. Hey, fellas. This is so many dudes. Oh, my God. Um, Fox Sparks, go start fucking shit up. This is so many motherfuckers. Holy fuck! They have a lot of guns! Fox Sparks is lighting the fuck up, though. Fox Sparks got some AoE. Meanwhile, my guys are just doing whatever they do. Kill them! Fucking kill them! There are too many! You! Welcome to the party, new guy! Holy shit! This is like fucking 15 dudes! Okay.
Okay. That was a lot of motherfuckers. That was way more people. Okay, so I don't know. That could just be chance. But it seems like on the Steam version, raids are German. I think it was our first fucking raid. I think it was raid number one. I'm pretty sure. So it seems like the Steam version has less raids, but they are dramatically more aggressive. Like, dramatically more aggressive. Holy shit. Oh, they dropped Gigaspheres. Pog? I have Gigaspheres now? Also, I'm completely out of regular spheres. Let me fix that. I'd like 50 spheres, please. Come do that. Thank you. All right, well, we lived just fucking barely. Turns out my face is not very bulletproof, actually. I'm wearing, like, shit leather armor. <laughs> like, when 17 guys with firearms turn around and start beating my ass, dude, I got a stick with a pointy end. I am not on the same tier as you guys. I want a gun. Like, my little Eevee has a gun. I don't have a fucking gun. Okay, nobody actually died up here. A lift mug gun seems like it's a little tough to use on small targets Turn the bell back to work mode okay th i'm pretty sure all that means is i think that only affects them while there is a raid happening maybe not maybe i should put it back to work mode. maybe you're right back to work god transporters are so dumb back to work everybody Lift monk guns while I keep a bow on me. Jesus. Yeah, there's dudes with the shotguns in there. These motherfuckers were packing absolute heat. Anyway, we were working on it. Oh, my fox sparks fucking exploded, so. No, in you go. My fox sparks got absolutely fucking wrecked. Shells. So there will be shotguns in the future. If anyone was curious about that, we'll uh, we'll have shotguns later. Fox marks toasted them though. Holy shit! That's good knowledge. That whatever the fuck, I I need to look at what attacks Fox Sparks has because they are massively AOE. She was just hosing down the entire group. Super fucking useful. One more ancient civilization part. We should do another dungeon. We should do another dungeon. Penguin's working hard on the PAL spheres. Good work, buddy. I have a Fox Sparks harness. Technology. I need... Daydream's necklace. Daydream. The daydream does not do the thing if I don't have the necklace to make her do the thing. How's Nardar going? Pretty good. Trey Gusset movie. How you doing? If you're holding aim with the bow, folks, on the reticle. Oh, can you shoot by holding right click? Because I switched to the spear because with the crossbow, even though I was holding left mouse down, she stopped shooting while I was reloading. She did like a little three round burst and then I had to reload and I was like, she's only going to shoot three bullets every fucking time I have to reload this cross, but it's not going to be very effective. Can I just aim and she'll hose? Just hold the arrow, no fire. Okay, so if I'm, if I'm, if, if aiming makes her hose, that'll work pretty well. I can literally just check. I don't know why I'm asking. All I have to do is... Pull out my little cat. Get up here. That seems to be how it works with a crossbow. It doesn't... So it might just be a little bit incompatible with crossbows. It's kind of unfortunate. Try a bow bow. Yeah, I might have to try a bobo. Just literally just to aim a little uh, lift monk. By the way, how do I make super crossbow? I got a super crossbow schematic.
crossbow uncommon can be crafted a high quality workbench. How? That's crossbow common. Where's crossbow uncommon? I need it in my hands. That's a little weird, but okay. Ah. I certainly don't see a purpose to that, but fair enough. I can't see... I guess the, t the statistical difference? We're gonna need to get more ingus, though. Or we're gonna need more nails. Okay. Good work, boys. That's exactly how many nails I need, so we're gonna go on an ingus harvesting adventure real quick. I got regular pal spheres back. That's good. Let's go... Space is a lot better than the way I have any clue what I'm doing now. We got some gigaspheres from that raid, which is solid. Let's get a mining services team, which is people that have mining foremen and cats. There's unfortunately not a way to sort by passive skills. So we're just going to have to look for mining foremen manually. It's yellow, so we're looking... What is muscle head? That's a new one. Ooh, okay. That makes him... That just means he's a battle pal. All right, sick. Plus 30% attack seems great. Alcoholic's not great. Got an artisanal tansy that we probably want to replace one of the random cats. Because he does a lot of the same jobs, and anything he goes and does, he's going to do extremely fucking quickly. I have one mining foreman, huh? I have two mining foremen. Yeah, <laughs> Melpaca. Anyway, uh, cats. I have two mining foremen. Artists without any work times pretty fun. Yeah, that's artist and Tansy seems like a real banger. Okay, so up on Chillet Hill, I think, is where the big circle of ores are. You're right, I can't get an incubator. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need ingots to... There's so many things I want to do. This... This game... Like, all... Shenanigans yeah. about... The fucking CEO of whatever company makes this, or... This still absolutely... Like, straight up, literally zero evidence that it's using any yeah. AI or whatever. Or that guy who, like, forged an entire YouTube video by resizing all the pals to make it look like their meshes were closer to Pokemon. Ignoring all of that shit. They have fucking nailed the survival craft side of this. I constantly feel like I have 1,000 things I want to be doing. Like, constantly. Hey, go give him the windmill mm. hands. I'm not loaded. It's gonna be kind of hard to headshot you. You're very wiggly. Gentle poking. Ow. You can have a mega sphere. No, 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 no. Throw button. You can have a mega sphere. Half the pals were shown off in trailers like a year before AI shit showed up. Yeah, people were talking about this game like it's it's literally unhinged. Like I'm <laughs> Nothing about the fucking veracity of AI itself or whatever, but, like, people have a problem. They have a massive fucking problem. Everyone is going so out of their way. How merchant just got murdered. That was my weed seeds. Oh, well. To literally make up a bunch of shit against this game. Like, like it didn't have its reveal trailer years ago. The original trailers for this thing were so fucking far 
before all the AI art shit took off and the generative AI and all that because it's fucking predates it all. Oh, he ducked. Good crouch. You are dead. You are dead. Caprity, why do you run from me? I'm not saying it's not smart. I'm saying... Ouch. Please don't. Okay, let's make sure you switch balls back over. There we go. For regular balls with this. Gimme. Caprity might be a big ball user. No, we're okay. We're good. Yay. I thought this was where the big nexus of four nodes was, but apparently I'm wrong. Not that it matters. You can't hold that many anyway. But they look like my mons. My favorite things are the people posting like side by sides of like, look how similar these are. They ripped it up and they don't look the same at all. They're just based on the same animal. Like definitely my favorite one that I've seen is the whatever the fuck the sheep in how world is called next to whatever the fuck the sheep and pokemon is called and they don't even look remotely similar other than they're both just floofy sheep balls <laughs> like they just both are sheep and that's a hundred percent of the similarities fuck it's so funny like it's it's wild there's something someone needs to check on the pokemon fandom there's something wrong with them i don't think they're okay I say this as a guy who was, was played in like a, a not very small amount of Pokemon. And maybe it's small compared to some of you fuckers, but like I've, I've played a pretty. What the fuck are there pal spears in here? I've played a pretty solid amount of Pokemons. I'm a, I'm a Pokemons enjoyer. I'm a known Pokemon guy. It's a thing that I like to play. They need help. They need help. They desperately need help. It's help that I don't think I can provide. Certainly beyond my pay grade. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, you're right. Arceus, Pokemon Legends Arceus, unfortunately, and this sucks. Pokemon Legends Arceus doomed the Pokemon franchise forever because exactly that. It took a thousand times more effort and did not produce meaningfully more money. Like, that... That game's existence means that the Pokemon franchise is just never going anywhere ever again. Literally, why would they? Why would they bother? It's oops all downsides. Oh, wait, Day James Necklace. I need that. I'm honestly going to go on a second ore run. I need ore so badly. 37. If we do one more ore run, we should be pretty set. For at least a little while. Like, there's just a bunch of shit around the camp that's randomly damaged from the giant fight that happened. Pretty sure there's ingots in another box. I don't know which one it is, and smart stacking doesn't really exist in this game. Okay, let's go get some more ore, like this one. It's right here. <laughs> I'm going to go out of my way. I just want some of these. Give me this. Transporter picked up a drop surf in the rain that you ought to stack in most I mean, yeah, I get that's what happened, but like I can't believe that means I missed some loot from some guys So I must have sucked that shit up real quick Hey, you Wakey wakey <gasps> bitch Get him oh, God the hands it's so good Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. This is a mega sphere situation for sure. Minus two mega spheres. Yeah. Please stay in the ball. These are. I don't have a lot of these. <laughs> very, very low on these. Get a Denosum without negative traits challenge. Difficulty impossible. Or. Okay. Thank you. Remember, Temtem, that was a rip off a of Pokemon. Quote from man who. What? Yeah, help. 
how? What part? No, okay. No, you get to be on the spot now. You make the claim. You get to explain it. Explain how Temtem is a ripoff of Pokemon. What part of Temtem is ripping off Pokemon? Oh, that was sarcasm. Okay, you get a pass. You get a pass. Poe's Law has taken another victim. Where the fuck did I get wheat seeds? Wait, I got some wheat seeds? I was hoping eating food would be enough to... These eggs are actually super heavy. Okay, I gotta put these eggs down somewhere. They are nerfing the shit out of my inventory. I was getting confused about how I'm already over encumbered after two rocks. The eggs, they weigh, be weighing a lot. This is why... This is just directly, I'm pretty sure, a Northern Lion bit, but I'm going to steal it entirely because it's 100% correct. Of all of the emojis that exist on the internet, especially on Twitch, that are just fucking useless... Look, okay, of all the Twitch emojis, that nobody outside the Twitch bubble has any idea what the fuck they mean or is even alert, aware of the fact that they exist. Kappa needs to enter the modern lexicon. Kappa serves an incredibly important role in our society. And that is to indicate sarcasm. There, we need an emoji for that. That That's a desperately needed role. In a society that, re that relies more and more on text-based communication. You know, Kappa needs to make the fucking jump off of Twitch. Okay, that's 77 ingots. That should be hopefully good for a little while. I refuse to use Kappa. Well, that'll be your problem. You can deal with that later. I did. I got more weed seeds somewhere. I don't know where, but it means we can advance our fucking thing. Where the fuck did I get weed seeds? We can do it. I assume weed seeds are probably going to go more or less directly into the milling device. Probably. That makes sense to me. Uh, what was the other thing I need to build? Can you show me my mission, please? Cooking pot. Oh, I can do cooking pot. Cooking pot's actually important. Cooking pot actually matters. Oh, I haven't... Have I not unlocked cooking pot? Oh, shit. Jesus, we're like... We're actually kind of bumping up against the top of this. A Mega Glider, I assume, is going to be either faster or uses less stamina or both. Shooting Pengolin out of a rocket launcher is hilarious, but does not seem super important right now, but it is really fucking funny. No, okay, things can take damage and raids look like they're getting insane very quickly. So I'm going to go with that. Ingots. All right, that's fine. My fox will fix that shortly. Don't worry. People who use slash S for serious need to be slash shot. Okay, pause. Because an interesting thing has arrived in the chat. Zindern, in your sphere slash side of the world, because I guess that's more of a texting thing than an internet thing, do you guys use slash S for the literal opposite of what we use slash S for? Because slash S is for sarcasm here. It's the polar opposite. That is a full and complete inversion. I've only ever heard slash S. Oh, I thought you meant like, because it's more of a texting thing than an internet thing. So I thought like in Denmark, it like straight up just got inverted from what it was in America. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. Never mind. He just did an oopsie. Get my team. He did a he who. Get my boys. I'm gonna go fight Zoe. It's probably gonna take a minute, but I'm gonna have a daydream and I'm gonna have a lift monk with a fucking minigun, so I know we're gonna figure it out. We are now with a wheat plantation and mill. Once I build the cooking pot, we are a stage ahead 
of what we ever got to. Oh, by the way, what's Fox Sparks shooting? Oh, it's Spirit Fire. Spirit Fire's the AoE. Okay. So Spirit Fire is really good. Unequip skill. Oh! Is this like a priority list? Is this in the order she will attempt to use them? They may have different skills I don't know about. So I can literally just unequip everything except Punch Flurry, and then Cat will just throw hands. That's I. That's the thing that I wanted. You can do it. You can just unequip the other two, and then the cat will only throw hands. That's all we need. I am looking at the cooldowns. I don't think you need air cannon. I don't think you get any benefit from knowing air cannon. Okay. So we now have the second he who funny guy. We can put this squirrel on my head where she will shoot a fucking SMG. But also... That's the wrong fire Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> that is... Much much larger than I thought it was going to be. Holy shit, that is huge. Oh my fucking god. Hmm. That is ginormous. That's got some reach on it. Okay. Well, I think that'll... That's... I'll pull that out definitely when all the raiders are running at my base. I would definitely pull that one out instead of Lift Monk's little smig. That would be much better. In times like this, Squid, remember it's only a war time if there's witnesses left to call you out. Oh, well, I'm gonna do my best to not leave any of those. Okay, I gotta collect some ingots, then we'll make our upgraded crossbow. Crossbow's got stats on it, right? Yeah, attack 280. I'm curious. Let's see what the jump up is. Thank you. Thank you. I think my cell array is broken. <laughs> That's okay. He doesn't matter that much. Oh, we can make this too. We can make Mega Shield also. Let's get an armor upgrade. Let's get so let's get Mega Shield. Let's get the upgraded crossbow. Makes Steve watch. She can be a witness. I can't have them both out at the same time. Daydream so far is a unique exception. Chat said there are others like her, but I have to have my active Pokemon has to be Fox Sparks to use her as a weapon. Uh, same with the little Leafeon thing that's Lift Monk. Daydream is currently unique in that she just gets to also fight while not being my active Pokemon. Oh, it's time Steve the Pace turn to raid. So he can watch me incinerate his saviors. Thank you for the three seconds of help, Penguin. Mega Shield. Uncommon Crossbow. Okay, so wherever they're taking the wheat, then I just had to put it in the mill, which I assume is also going to require pingolet or celerate a function because it's going to need to be watered. Well, oh, the wheat's going directly in the food basket. So we don't want to just eat the wheat, you fucking... I guess you are literally animals. It feels unnecessarily rude to call you animals. That's the thing that you are. Oh, we're going to be here forever, huh? Okay. No one's gonna come help me. Fair enough. They're just eating grass. <laughs> like, they're just eating the crunchy grass. They got the crunchy grass over there. Holy shit. Why can't someone else do it? You do this. Yeah. These will get finished out eventually. These will get done. I'm not in a big hurry. Let's try this out. Pump. It's 
So they're in pump mode. I wonder if that affects the party member cat. They do look, I don't know if it's just me, they do look like they're moving a little faster. Let's see how fast this is filling up. Okay, so that's filling up about that fast. And then let's put it on truly inhumane mode and then see how fast it's going. If that's faster, I'm level with you. I can't tell. If this is faster, I cannot tell. Can you guys tell? This is notably faster. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat all these weird mushrooms I found. Omega shield. There we go. And then you get an egg incub Oopsies. You get an egg incubator started. That's super fucking important. had seven i used five no the crossbow took the other two fuka all right i'm gonna have to just make a temporary chest whoops i'll figure out the controls someday um fucking here's just a fucking box that the entire Well, he's not so much coming as he is just staring through the doorway. Contemplating that he could help. But he's not gonna. This is now the box that's full of eggs. There we go. Now, this motherfucker's making me work way too hard. I'm not going over there. Fuck that shit. Oh, instead of a fire, fire cat. I thought I saw a difference with fire cat, but I, I again, I really can't tell. It's not gonna be like, it's not like 200% work speed or anything like that. They're not getting to double efficiency or anything. We're getting there. Fox Park seems to be stress eating. That's fine. It's all part of the job. I'm, ooh, what the fuck? What are those? What are those? The gate does in fact just open inward actually. It is just on the wrong way. These little fucking hoo hoo looking guys. Hookrates. Shout out to Daydream for just shooting this random fucking Kativa that was standing next to us. Often lost in thoughts, it finds it difficult to sleep. I think, therefore, I am. Uh, everyone's everyone's having a tough time over there. Feed them high quality food. Oh, food. Okay, so there is a downside to just eating berries forever. Fucker. Okay, they need better food. Okay, let's put them back to regular. Which should theoretically be doable in the future because we're gonna have this thing. That'll just pump wheat and bread and we'll just get slightly better food going. What are you fucking fighting? Stop. <laughs> Stop. Go away. That was that other Kativa that just got random incidental by Daydream's wife. Oh, it's been awesome. Pissed. Fair enough. <laughs> Upset with the bed. Same, man. <laughs> Same. 
Okay, what do I need for a cook pot? So getting food that doesn't suck ass is actually kind of going to be a big thing. What's up, Jastron? The absolute fucking mood. We're not out of food, are we? Is the berry production not... No, you have 309 berries. We're not out of food. The, the children yearn for something other than fucking berries. They're desperate. They are literally begging to eat anything else. I'm glad Pal World's giving gifts to everyone. Those who like Fortnite, those who like Pokemon, those who enjoy worthless Twitter dramas. God, that took forever. Okay, so these upgrades are... Wow. That is... Massively better. It's like 30% stronger. That's... That's pretty significantly better. That's, that's a big fucking step up. Oops. Okay, let's repair everything before we head out. Holy fucking shit. Just a random chickpea in the farm. Ninety-three. Oh my god! This fucking kills people. Okay. Well, we're gonna commit die. I mean, the problem. Well, yeah. well I can actually still do the tap and cap. It doesn't hit so hard, it's one-shotting pals, which is great. It's just really close to one-shotting pals. I don't think I have 10 box marks. I don't, I only had five. Let's go fucking fight. Pals have their nice working conditions back. I already switched it back. I switched it back for the crossbow was even done because I wasn't even sure it was working on the party Pokemon. Okay. Let us go do battle. I'm ready. We gotta go fuck up Zoe again. We should hopefully... Even though our pals may be a little bit lower... We'll, we'll see how much of a difference that makes, because I think our DPS might be way fucking higher. Between this disgusting crossbow and... The lift monk gun. And the fact that I can just squeeze my firefox. I'm curious how much damage the fire does. All right, fucker. Oops, wrong oh, button. Just a run. Give me this, give my weasel. Get my hand. I can't get my fucking ox sparks. Ox sparks. It's so hard to pick up. There we go. Oh my god, we're cooking him. This shit's warm. That shit's pretty fucking warm. Next contestant, the price is fuck your mom. Oh shit. Oh, I forgot about my fucking laser! Okay. Oh my god. Nice aim, idiot. Alright, how much cooldown we have on this? Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's fine, you can fight. You should be buffed, actually. You should have a buffed attack rate. 
coming to touch my ass, dude. The crit spot is the girl, I'm pretty sure. He's coming to kick my ass! I think I'm eating this one. Oh, oh, I dodged it. All right, we're good. If you're up really close to him when he does this, he just whips with most of them for the last one, apparently. Is my flamethrower ready? Not quite yet, almost. I just pulled box marks out to get absolutely fucking vaporized. Give me the burn bag. Give me the burn bag. Okay, I'm actually gonna dodge these. He has range. Come touch my ace. <laughs> she's just, she's just giggling. Her ass is on Omega Fire, and she's just fucking laughing. She has no fear. Absolutely none. Come on, come here. Come here. Oh shit. I'm paralyzed. It's apparently an option. A ruby. DPS Pokemon. This is much faster. You're never ready for the boss to be in to get in their ass beat. Oh yeah, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. Oh shit. Oop. That fucking spirit fire is amazing. It hits so many times. I don't think it's actually where they aim for the crit because I've missed so much. Because she is a much smaller target than her fucking Electabuzz. Just spread to the side. Oh! Or I could just shoot her in the fucking face! That works too! Fuck you, bitch! Blam! <laughs> that was much faster. Much faster than the first fight. This team, even though it's dramatically lower level, is doing way more fucking damage. Like, the Fox Sparks and Lift Monk partner skills? Absolutely fuck. Okay, now I ask her on a date. Oh, Zendern blinded by the horny in the distance. You hate to see it. It turns out the gun kills stuff. And that gives us five ancient tech points. So then we can start getting a bunch of stuff. All right, sick. Dinosaur saddle. We can ride a dinosaur. This is okay. Now we're pretty much back up to where we were, I think. It's not blinded. I've never seen more clearly. Ah. <laughs> uh, every now and then, you get to enjoy a good old fashioned, a good old fashioned non Western video game. Where they're not afraid to make the female characters hot. Nice to base to improve the handiwork efficiency of pals. That does seem good. I would like them to handiwork faster. That does seem beneficial to me. Gigaspear is coming. All I'm gonna say is wood. That's all you gotta say. That's all we need. Look, even the fucking cutaway picture, dude. They know their audience. They know what they're doing. That's why... The, the, that's There's a reason... This game broke 200 fucking million concurrent players, and it's because unlike every game in modern history, they 100% know their audience. It's not even just that they made the boss hot. They made the boss like a specific flavor of hot. That I'm sure appeals way more to this 
general niche of the everybody who would be here right now than you know most of your average people out in the world okay you guys shouldn't really need to come over to this shit so i'm just gonna pile it up in the middle what do i need for my egg incubator ancient civilization parts she didn't drop any she was a boss it was a boss fight come on i gotta go to their dungeon all right we gotta go to their dungeon kids that's not my repair bench. All right, Daydream, we're going to a dungeon. I feel like I probably shouldn't bring Daydream to a dungeon on account of she's just gonna die. This is a recipe to kill the boss on accident. Um, Daydream. I wanna bring this little electric shitter. I wanna see what he does. I wanna see what's up with this little guy. I haven't played with him at all. Well, the weapon workbench. That's a tier down. I got to level up where I can do that. Okay, so who? Oh, I have Chillit too, right? Chillit should definitely get out here. I think it's time for Kativa on the battle squad to be retired. Don't get me wrong, Kativa. You've done great, but I don't think you're battle squad material anymore. Let's get Chillit in here. Let's get Spark it and see what he does. Pyromaniac. Goat that is also a shrubbery. Not wise, is what I will say. I think you may want to find a different uh, interest, perhaps. I would think that's the one you should be into, possibly. All right. Uh, do we have any wet guys that work good? Hell yeah, we do. Wet guy that works good. Because I suddenly need a pretty decent amount more, like, wheel turning. And also, just nobody is doing it. All right. Now there's a base, or a dungeon back behind the base. So I'll go hit that one, I guess. Also, I can Bedingus myself and get better capture rate. Weapon work benches at the next tier. We gotta level up. Okay. <laughs> I'm not just down bad. I'm tunneling into the earth. That's true. No, no items of five research points is, is fair. We should get some ancient parts from killing a random dungeon boss. On the bench that said the black rabid brotherhood sister is hot and I'm less down bad for Zoe than Zendern is. You literally can't... Look. You, first of all, can see 0% of the black rabid brotherhood sister. You cannot see any part of her. She is fully covered, mask included. You have no concept of what she looks like. Part two. She sounds like she's 12. Like. What? She does not sound like she is an adult. There's two points against you. Okay. Yeah, she's like four feet tall. I'm pretty sure she is actually like 12. Hell yeah. Hmm. Delayed the shot that one. Well played. What? Guys will see this and just say hell yeah. <laughs> it's also a slacker. I think Kilimari's might just come with slacker. I don't think that's just how they are. Okay. Yeah. Come here. He phased to the boulder. <laughs> I do appreciate that it gives Fox Sparks to kill. Not me. Fox Sparks to fear that guy. I mean, it is 100% accurate. It's just funny. It's... <laughs> Fox Sparks takes credit. Thank God the Pathfinding might be some, need some work. The Pathfinding is uh, pretty solidly the worst part of the game right now, for sure. There's no question. The Pathfinding is, pathfinding is absolutely atrocious. He 
Jesus. Did not do a lot of damage. <laughs> I just threw it because it'd be funny. Imagine if he actually stayed in it, though. Uh, yeah, the voice acting on the thug is pretty solid. <laughs> like, sounds like he's just getting waterboarded to death every time he dies, which he's being murdered by a chill, and he is kind of getting waterboarded to death, but you know. Yeah, Foxparks does make light. I saw that too. It's pretty neat, actually. Mm. They they are glowing. That is a torch. Foxparks is a source of, source of light. That's useful to me. Because I can't see in the dark. Bunch of motherfuckers fighting to kill Amari. There's a bunch of Mao running around. I don't have a Mao yet. Hey, you're tanky. Get down, Mr. President! That's probably oh maybe pretty shitty. I'm watching. I'm watching the mouse help. Help me! Fuck. Yeah. I'm why I do want to catch the cat. I don't have any yet. We just running for it. Smart. Smart. Sprint for the fucking hills. Oh, she yeets out of the ball. Okay. Thank you. Celery says she's struggling with her test. I'm pretty sure I put the face back to not sweatshop mode. But, I mean, understandably, Celery's struggling with their task because their task is transporter, and transporter is very fucking broken. <laughs> Sounds like a hand kill being surprised. Huh? Hungry. Okay, this is just a tile that can show up in the tile set. Random little cathedral room that you just kind of sprint around the outside of. Uh, if we go to over here, there's nothing in it. It's just a fucking empty room. It's a big empty room, but it's still an empty room. Got three megas and three gigas. Ooh, oh, cellar is. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Well, they should be fine with this then. This shouldn't kill them. They're made of wet. Ah, yeah. uh, throwing a ball cancels Huggy Fire and I can't get back into it. Okay. That's good intel. Well, now we know. Now we know throwing a ball cancels that entirely. So I just what? need to hose them down as much as I want to hose them before I try to throw a ball or switch over. Um, okay. So in that case, you guys are very mobile. Whoops. Jesus, it's so strong. It's so strong! So angry. I mean, this is the one I care about, right? Ooh, that one hit me. Yeah, that attack comes out real quick after he jumps. Fuck. So quick. We are definitely. The fuck? The fuck put him in jail? Well, the fuck's getting ready to fucking murder him. I meant to put him away, not pull out a different one. No, 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 no. Okay. I can't even swing. 
The crit chance is too dangerous. Yeah. I think he'll die to a crit. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a negative because bosses literally always have negatives. Also, he only fucking dropped one. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Respect the amount of not give a shit the power world devs have when designing the time period this is in, i.e. not at all. Here we go. Stone Unga spears to just fucking guns. Can I have some more, please. No. Got necklaces though. I guess I can wear both of them. Because I have two necks. Like most normal humans, I've got two necks. I can, I can wear two necklaces. Now we gotta get back up top. You got to a medieval castle for some reason. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, they don't give a shit. They did put whatever the fuck would be cool. They're like, castles are cool. The assault rifles are cool. And shooting a penguin out of a rocket launcher is cool. Yeah, put that in the game. They just, <laughs> they just said fuck it and threw all this shit in there. <laughs> Vibin. That Kativa is at peace with the universe. They have found their center. That's... <laughs> guns red, specifically because then I quote, the American audience won't like our game if it doesn't have guns. I saw that, like, screenshot of a Discord post from an ambiguous server from a guy who's theoretically the developer that you're referencing. What? I don't know that I'd buy it. Yeah. That's the, the, yeah, the, the grainy. Oh, I'm just, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, hunger kills you. I didn't know that. I thought it just kind of lowered your stats and I could just sort of ignore it until I wanted to move on with my life. Oh, we are dead. That's 100% dead. There's not a way around that right now. I'm just, I'm corpse. Puts you to one, doesn't kill you. All right, fair enough. Now, yeah, I, I, I've seen the extremely grainy Discord screenshot from an ambiguous setting from a guy saying that I don't even 1% buy that. Oh, Shadows is not killing you, I guess. Appreciate. I'm not confident I've ever believed something less than that screenshot. Oh, we only got one. That sucks. I think they're just recovering from going into super yeah. overworker mode. Yeah, they're on normal. It's just going to take a while for them to come back from that. Keep pumping the wheat. Oh, hold on. I can make good ass chick food out of chickpeas now. Ooh. Chickpeas combined with berries. Turns into something really fucking useful. Step one. Any more arrows? I just don't want to run out of those. Keep that shit going. Step two. It's chickpea season. Step three. Oh, oh he coming. My guy. No, never mind. Come back out. Whoa, sick flip. Oh no! That's a gigasphere! 
Oh, I'm gonna catch him. I forgot there was a third category. I went to swap back to regular sphere, but there's a third one now. Dead. 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 There's suddenly a pretty high demand for Jig poultry. Crazy how nature do that. Give me this. My pals will feast. They will have delicious chicken. There might be a similar thing for lamb balls. Actually, I just didn't look and see it because I didn't have any lamb ball mutton. Tony, there's a weird man outside who's no scoping the chickens in our coop. What? I'm sure lamb ball mutton has something similar. So we should collect doo-doo meat. And I think we can combine it with some stuff to make food that'll give us better results. On the sanity restoration front. And also, ore. Ore is important too. When it sees functionally, then let's just running back. Yeah, no, it's really nice that it means you, you have to go deal with it. You certainly... You certainly cannot... Am I double hitting? Definitely double hitting. Can we find a way to make that happen consistently? It's fucking... Open season, motherfucker! Give me your meat! We can figure out what causes that. We could be doing some shit a little bit faster for sure. <laughs> if you contain meat, get ready for defeat. Gruntilda has spoken. Oh, there is just a max range. Okay. Oh, that'd be damage fall off too. Possibly. I missed the banjo streams. Now, maybe someday we'll get a new one. Probably not. But then, you know, we all thought that probably not was the answer to that before Nuts and Bolts came out, too. So, like, anything's possible. Ooh, there's a second chicken who sprinted out of cover in blind fucking fear. Fair enough. Love to see it. Feed me. This is running for its goddamn life. With no concept of the fact that I do not give a shit about it at all. It's not edible. They just need meat. My hunger. I must feed. Ukulele doesn't make it more likely. That's true. So the thing about ukulele is that it was designed by a team of people who do not understand what made Banjo-Kazooie good. Which is interesting because it's the people that made Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> Sometimes you get flukes. Where an incredibly fucking good game comes out and the devs have no concept, none at all, of what they did that made it good. Banjo Kazooie might have been one. Because honestly, this is. I'm gonna hit you guys with a controversial ass fucking opinion, alright? We're gonna get. We're gonna get real questionable. Even Banjo Tooie is not that good. It's really. Yeah. God damn it. It's just Kazooie. Banjo Tooie definitely started tipping over into the just like weirdly tedious field.
Why is my celery dying? Is it because he's still stuck in the sky? Yeah, it's because he's still glitched into the sky. I guess I should unglitch him from the sky. This seems to be having negative effects on his health. Okay, so maybe... Maybe don't ever put a pal that can fly in your base. They just appear to fly into the sky, get stuck, and then have a stroke. You can tell nothing's them being transported because there's fucking shit everywhere. Lambert, I don't think you need to be here anymore. I think we're probably good quite literally forever on wall. Uh, thank you for that. Now it is the era of cats that shit money. <laughs> or alternatively, boss celery. I don't hate boss celery. It would make more sense to be regular Celery and the boss Celery could come with me. I don't know where boss Celery would go, but boss Celery could theoretically come with me. Can you rename your pals? You can, yes. I feel like him being larger is just going to make him more likely to get stuck on stuff. Can I get 20 Mega Spheres, please? That's pretty good business. We're producing wheat. The wheat is important. Absolutely is a lamb ball version. We can make jam buns. Okay, so we're starting to make buff food now. Buff food starting to happen. What? Incorrect button. <gasps> Cook this, my child. Saute the chickpeas that have given their lives so that they could be delicious. I might honestly want multiple cooking pots. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I didn't actually level off of that. Holy shit, I still can't get down a weapon workbench. Damn. Okay, let me see large toolbox. Let me see more than one has no additional effect. Okay, so these just radiate a power. That's useful. I like that. 15 nails, you say? How, do I have any? Are there any nails in here? I have none nails, okay. New rule. If an object is produced two at a time, you're not allowed to have stuff require an odd number of them. I have decided. We're gonna need additional fucking hot tubs, I think. We can do that. Well, the hot tubs usually aren't even full. I don't think that's like the problem. It's just pals getting stuck everywhere because the pathing is so atrocious that it's just causing a lot of negatives to happen. Tiffon, you're not doing anything. Tiffon, you don't know how to work. You don't know how to do work. Because, like, this shit just happens and they get upset because they're just stuck clipping into a corner, literally shitting bricks all over the ground because they can't figure out how to move. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You can rename your pals on a Steam version, which we are on now. Okay. So what we need to do, I think, is still... I feel like the solution is still just go do dungeons. I just need to do more dungeons. Need more fucking dungeons in my life. This chickpea saute takes absolutely forever. Nobody's working at any bench. Okay. Angle it has arrived. Now he's gonna bug out on all the wood again, so let me grab all this so he stops doing that. The solution is kill more bosses. As it so often is, the solution is kill more bosses. It's always kill more bosses. Give me these. Hmm. I guess I'll just let people do what they're doing right now. Spark, have you learned anything cool? 
No. Not yet. I have some magical fruit TMs. I wonder if they're any good. Because some are electric. Two of them are electric. And two of them are earth. I have electric ball and I have lightning streak. And lightning streak seems like it's really fucking strong and I should probably hang on to that. So let's figure out. Let's try TMs. I've never used this before. Is this not spark it? Spark it is our new active skill electric ball. Oh, it's the purple ball that chases after motherfuckers, except instead of being purple, it's yellow. So if the hot tubs aren't unoccupied, I don't really get why the pals are getting shitty. I thought that was what the hot tubs were for. Maybe if they can put a chest right next to the mining and logging spots, they won't get stuck trying to path. Yeah, I should try that. That seems like it'd be a really solidly great idea. I guess he would, Okay, I guess that just means he was on his way to the hot tub. He just takes a while to get there. He's not particularly swift. He did go there, though. Double heading. Dang it. Fortnite is at peaks about 6 million concurrent. So for reference, this game right now, I don't know if it's extremely unhealthy due to neglect. Don't worry. I can fix that. I can absolutely fix that. Who's got depression? You? You? Problem solved. <laughs> Fixed them. Um... We're good. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine now. Oh, I did the wrong thing. So 5.8 and 6.2 in articles. So this has around one third of the player numbers as the absolute peak of Fortnite's concurrence. The peak. He just wanted his dad with him. One third of the highest Fortnite has ever been. Think about how fucking popular Fortnite is. Something definitely just keeps resetting these. I don't think the rod timers even work. And then keep in mind, right, and then keep in mind that's only on Steam. That doesn't even include Xbox and Game Pass where it's free. Unhinged. Unhinged. Truly insane. Unbelievable. Will you cook faster? How hard is it to saute a chicken? An entire whole chicken. Written by someone who does not know what sauteing is, clearly. I don't think you can do that to an entire chicken. That's not really how that works. You can't, I mean, you can do anything. Anything is possible. I think we have too many jobs. Too many things that need doing. Because, like, the handicrafting is just not getting done. fucking need the nails and the ingots so I can make the handicrafting work better. Really you? Finish sauteing this fucking chicken so I can put something else in before I leave. Thank you. 
but something else is going to be jam toast. There you go. Next eight people to come to the food box. Actually, I should cancel that. I should do these because this is the one that will go bad. Next eight people. They're still eating the red berries. I uh, will assume one of two things is true. They either just eat whatever's in front, period, or they will eat based on how much sanity they actually need. I would like to hope it's option two, but realistically, it's probably option one. I would figure is the most likely. Okay. I'm making progress. Doing good business. See, start early day. How's your addiction? Um, you know, just normal, a normal amount of addiction. Where do we want to go? We need to go on an adventure somewhere. We got to go do some shit. Do we want to go across to a different island entirely? Because there's only like three sets of islands. Let's go see what's on another island. I know obviously it's going to be different pals. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go learn some things. If we see a dungeon, I'll do it. I do need dungeons. I need some levels. I need some ancient spark plug thingies. Um, I now know that lamb ball meat is probably valuable forever. So I'm just going to gun these fuckers down whenever I see one. This uncommon crossbow is a disgusting abomination against God. I love it. We absolutely just hoover mutton with, without a care in the world. Delicious little sheeplets. Delicious little ball fellas. Go <laughs> crit and kill him. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't account for the fact he's in the air. I got my poking stick. You better fucking stay in there, you celery. I need more of you motherfuckers to carry things. You are you are a very valuable pal. You're very paluable. Also, I haven't come with the Nighthawks yet or whatever they're called, little birds. Because you can get a saddle for them at a pretty weirdly low level and it says it's a flying mount. That's going to crit and kill him. There it is. If the first day doesn't crit, the second one's guaranteed. No. Island. Same pals. Give me your meats. Thank you. And awesome stress eating. Then eat the food that lowers your stress. Ooh, one tapped. Okay. Gotta be careful with these guys. They are a little soft. A little soft, these fellas. Do it. Shouldn't have done it. You're level two. You are a child. Should not have started this. I should make like a mount at all. I actually forgot that mounting is a mechanic. We haven't gotten a single mount. In this one. In the uh, Steam version. Totally forgot that was a thing. I should probably pick one. We should pick a fella and ride them. Do I have... We haven't seen a wolf yet. So who can I make a saddle for? I can make Melpaca as a saddle. Ike their deer as a saddle. The wolf is supposed to be super fast, which is... Why I feel like I barely give a shit about any of these other ones, because I just want a wolfy boy. Let's walk around at night. So we can what? find a wolf. Chill it mounts too. If it is, I didn't see it. Destroyed. Yeah. How do we have people learning too many skills? 
Somebody learned more than three skills. Someone has oh, because electrical can learned one and I thought of a TM. Oh, it automatically replaced the older one with the stronger one. Oh, okay, that's kind of neat. I appreciate that. It's like, hey, this one's a little better. You probably want to use this. We'll just throw it on there for you. There you go. Next to the deer. Oh, it was. He's probably a wet boy, I would imagine. But we'll find out. I'd like to ride a funny little wiggly weasel, man. That's hilarious. Wiggly me, wiggly weasel man and me could go on some adventures. Okay, so even though Dinosaur is pissed, it's still just eating red berries. I think they only eat them in the order they are in the bin. Which means that if I want them to eat the stress relief food, I need to put it in the front. And just the next bunch of people that eat there are gonna... It's our first spear one shot. I have a key, I don't think. I don't. We're on the board, baby. We got a spear one shot. The thugs are napping. They're tired. They have to go to sleep. That's true. I could, man I could use it a manual feed. I could put it in a cooler. Someday, theoretically, I'll have... A spare pal at the base that I can just perpetually dedicate to the cooler. And you're gonna die if I fucking poke you again. I don't think I can poke you again. And then we can use the cooler. Wow. Not bad. Now we can hoover up Ike their deer. Wah. The noises for throwing the balls are really fucking funny. Shit! One tap and fucking Ike there, dear. Get dead, it idiot. Good lord. This crossbow's a goddamn gat. This thing fucks. Fwock! Does that say fwock? I don't think I can hit you. I think you will just die. Fwock! What the flocking? You think it's on body water? This pal creates waves anywhere. If body surfs in a hurry, the resulting speed often ends in a fatal collision. <sighs> what the flock? What the flocking? That's just a com see. Okay, I do get a lot of the people on Twitter's complaints about this just being plagiarism. Because that is exactly just a Psyduck, except that it's a different color, and its head looks different, and its attitude is different, and it's not psychic, and it's not stupid, and it has a different theme, uh, and the shape is different. But other than that, that's exactly just a Psyduck. They're both ducks. What was the naming process for Fwok? Well, they wanted to see how close they could get to... Uh putting a just the hard fuck in the game uh, but not get banned in north america and flock was as close as they could get that was where they landed yeah. these flocks are rolling some incredible trades holy shit there's a danger, but I went there anyway. 
Okay. Look, if you rearrange these letters and add these ones and get rid of those, it's the same word. I'm not a 10 Gumas yet, right? I can still... I'm still hunting Gumases. Wakey wakey! <laughs> Inevitability. Now I slayed two more Gumases. Okay. Oh, here's wild rubies. Okay. First time we've seen them outside the boss encounter. You're gonna die if I hit you. Logging foreman. Always take more logging and mining foreman, at least until I have five of them. Ah, Tombat. Tombat's a pretty good fella. I'm getting some good hoovering going on here. I think I can hit a four. I don't think a four will die immediately. I think we're all right. See? Yeah. Easy. Nightwing. Okay. That was a cool little move. He threw a very slow moving tornado. And then he dashed after it. That was like a fucking Dark Souls boss move. Another logging foreman. Carries newborn pals of his nest. Oh, this is a surrogate parent, right? Okay, so we ought to get his mouth that we can fly around and we could be a bird. Wake up. Hey, okay, I woke up. We don't get to wake up, crew. Which means I can hit it. That's good. We're filling out on rubies. Get a tombat. Hold on, let me load my gun. Oh, I murdered him. That's fucking creepy. He just floats. He just floats like a fucking demon. All right, good to know. Dead tombats are horrifying. <laughs> Hello, funny little duck. Of course. He makes great noises. I'll give him that. Where you going? Ooh. What the fuck did I hit? Oh, he dead. I just hit somebody else. Somebody in the distance just caught a fucking bolt. What are these? Not a ton of new stuff yet so far. A lot of the same shit. Oh, was that just tree damage? I just got fortnited by tree damage, I guess. I can't shoot at you. You're gonna die. You're a small, innocent child. If I shoot you with a gun, your bones are gonna fucking explode and you're gonna be a corpse. Which I already do to, like, a third of the enemies anyway on accident. But, you know, I do kind of try to avoid it. Rush or... Five can probably take a crossbow bolt. Ooh, he's tanky. Also wasn't a headshot, I guess. Yeah. What I call the wrong spear. Mm. Yeah. You guys have a theme and you're sticking with it. Extremely aggressive pal picks fights for gauging his opponent's strength. Though small, its powerful charge sends even boulders flying. He just runs at shit and it explodes. Probably just doing that so I can get started before you fucking run away from me. Oh, it actually worked though. Okay, cool. I desperately wish every single paladin sprint away from you. Of course. Do I get it? Absolutely. It's the objectively correct answer. But it's fucking fantastically annoying that every single pal sprints away from you at full speed. That's 10 rubies. 
Yeah, like, like a trank gun or something would be super nice. Cause like, or I, have to, I guess I could just carry like a shitty bow. Cause I can't shoot my crossbow most of the stuff. It'll just die. Yeah, we're looping back around. That's fine. We're just exploring. We're just seeing the world. Not looking for anything in particular. Oh, dire owl. Fasto doggo. I was like, I can't shoot this dude. He just explodes. He's a little fucking baby and he just blows up when I look at him. Where doggo? I looked away and I'm pretty sure he despawned. Oh, maybe he went down here actually. Bonk. Tried to catch the fucko. Didn't really work out. Okay. Now we have a doggo. So we can ride doggo or chill it because doggo's a fast mount. Doggo's got speed. I'll fucking stab him through the duck. Ooh, fellas. I'll throw down with some fellas. What's up, fellas? The fellas usually have weird, uh, weird pals in their base. Oh my god! That's a pretty good kill the entire enemy team attack. I'll give it that for sure. Right the dick. Oh, it's just a leaf bug. That's not rare. They're all over the place. And over here we see a syndicate thug losing a fight to a Kativa. And now I won the fight. He is dead. Some big ass spires might have up his mammarets just everywhere. I wonder probably not because all my fucking Pokemon are underleveled. Can I hurt you yet? I'm not doing one anymore. Wow, that's huge. Yep. I've moved on from a uh, one shot. Dark trio resubbed on coffee. That absolute legend. Not definitely not in like kill him range, but I mean, soon we will be able to fuck with him. <gasps> Get him, chill it. Secrets to just recall my Pokemon every time Amaranth is about to attack. Yeah. Okay, mission absolutely fucking failed. He is still massively above my level. But we don't hit him for one anymore. It's like a swamp. Well, there's gotta be new shit in here. He's got his own battle music. This man's like a boss. Like a boss boss. Dude, go weaken this thing. Good work. Good weakening, buddy. Key duck. You get fat XP for these fuckers. So we really just got to ping pong back and forth between going on an insane like pal catching ramp. Ooh, oh, it's just like there's seen from above. Insane pal catching rampage. Hmm. You got to attack, Ruby. Ruby, you got to attack. Ruby. Did she just one shot the full health one? I guess she is. I guess we're, they're not high level monsters anymore. They're just like, they're in my brain as being high level because they're like the random high level explorer of the early game zone. But they are like 10. So yeah, we're sort of double their level and they're just exploding. 
They don't really survive when we do stuff to them anymore. Thank you, Ruby. Okay, so this... Hmm. Oh, I kind of thought this adventure into a new island was going to be a lot more... I don't know. Full of stuff. We found like... Two? I feel like two total new types of fellas. Yep. Even those are, are pretty rare. We saw like two boars. Yeah. And the, the Roombas are over here, but we did find them in the dungeon earlier, so... I'm still going to give him credit because we just found him in a random dungeon. I thought we we're going to be in like a new fucking ecosystem or something, but this is all pretty much the same shit. Oh, flocks. That's true. There's been three. There were flocks. I mean, the doggo is around here. Human doggo activities. You can probably take a shot. Incorrect. Nobody can take a shot. The crossbow murders everyone. It's very deadly. I spent most of the time out here just capping out my tan on monsters that we'd already seen in the first island. Like this Gumas, which is now tanned. We're getting some fat levels. There's a fast draw point. We're getting some fat levels for ourselves, though. That's good. We're going to raise the cap, and then when we do some dungeons, everyone will get very big. Also, I see and appreciate that unconscious pals are still good XP. I am not one of the, like, insane psychopaths that votes in old school RuneScape polls. It sucked for me, so it has to suck, to you, suck for you that is in any way opposed to the concept of, like, a functional fucking XP share. Just making your dudes usable ever. I'm on, I'm on board with that. I'm a member of team. Maybe we should be able to use the Pokemon sometimes team. So anything that just prevents them from getting XP feels a little bit ass. Right. Yeah. Definitely don't have any of it. You're gonna die if I shoot you. I can't fucking shoot you with that. You're gonna explode. Is weirdly thank you though. Go fuck yeah. him up. Be a pair careful because apparently you can one shot. Mm. Oh. Jesus, they die so fast. Ruby's so strong. Oh, a fire shotgun. Absolutely fucks. Spirit fire or whatever. No, you can't use spirit XP shit. It's teething. You said, well, trying not to cry. People get so upset that... Like, we moved forward as a civilization and realized that a lot of mechanics just sucked really bad and weren't interesting. So we made them stop sucking. <laughs> and or made them interesting. We get real pressed about that. Just some dudes in the woods. They're level two and stuff. I can't be bothered to fight them. I need to get this fast trail point while we're over here. Which is in between Grintail? We should go get a Grintail. There's a Grintail. I want a Grintail. It looks like a gigantic fucking Cheshire cat. Holy shit the caveman and get to use fire so you don't get to use fire. Alright. I don't think I can catch you because if I send out a pal to attack you, you're gonna fucking instantly die and if I shoot you, you're gonna instantly die and I can't stab you. Touch. Do we see... Don't see... I'm looking around for, like... 
That looks cool. Where's that? It looks like it's up on top of this. Or no, that's this. It's clearly this right here. The pool is squared. It's like a huge church ruin up there. I was looking for more of those towers, like what we fought Zoe in. The thing at the very beginning of the game said something, something, the towers, something, something, one above, one below. And I kind of figured those are going to be everywhere and like a really recurring. They probably are, but I'm surprised I don't see any. Is I guess what I'm saying. I like that every rush or we find the wild is one level two and one guardian the dad and his child going out for a walk riding rush or seems like it'd be cool speed everybody as we can let's not piss off mamma rest he didn't do anything wrong ah Rintail. All right, giant Cheshire cat, motherfucker. Hmm. You may be a humongous cat, but I have a gun. Absolutely just tank. You're getting cooked. You're getting your shit cooked. Get the last little bit of sauce. Uh, let's try you. We'll see how you work. I gave you a tea up. Oh, my weapon's damaged. Oh, no. This thing's defense is a bazillion. Look at the damage. You know how hard this crossbow fucks. You've seen it. Oh, that seems really good. I don't think we're catching that with a regular ball. Never mind. Rintel's eyes light up the moment anyone enters its territories. This is no figure of speech. Its eyes literally light up. Yeah, I saw that. It, it becomes kind of horrifying to look at when you get close to it. That's, by the way, this is a great opportunity to hammer home how fucking stupid um, all the people on Twitter are. That, that boss we just fought, that was the one everyone... Is, that's like one of the poster children people are using for all the designs are plagiarized and putting it next to a Meowth that that thing def just a carbon copy of a meowth i'm not i wish i was kidding because if I, I wish just just this wasn't a real sentence i'd be able to have a little bit more hope for humanity you're stuck huh buddy you look like you're stuck that not kativa yep i, I don't know I don't know, man. I don't know how to explain these people. Galari and Meowth has a very similar face design. It's just that. It's just the face. Yeah. The Cheshire Cat face? It's the Cheshire Cat. That fucks. That little paralyzer circle is so good. Oh, geez. This little spark, it's got hands. That's so clearly a, the Cheshire Cat. Right? Like, am I insane? Is it I who was losing my fucking mind? Okay. What's up here? 
There is a fast travel point. I appreciate that we find enough pal spheres on the ground. Not to sustain us, but to let us stay out here for a long ass adventure. We need to get level 20. We're 23 right now. We just hit 23 off that Ikther deer. And I'm looking at a couple like their deers might give us another. Oh, uh, we're getting up there. Hi, -ya! yeah. I'm gonna put that fucker right in the middle because he's got that AOE. He got that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Kill that one. He's gonna die. Hmm. Sparky, you monster. Hmm. Oh my god! Spark it! No, spark it! <laughs> Stay in the ball! I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> He's too powerful! I'm trying to keep you safe! I'm trying to protect you from him! Oh my god. This spark is a goddamn nut burger. Okay, we'll look in here in a second. I'm not, I'm gonna intentionally not even look in there. I gotta go home and fix some stuff. This motherfucker is strong. You gave him multiple. What's going on over here, guys? Got some fellas T posing through the atmosphere. Get like 60 more basic spheres, please. Thank you. Okay, stash all that shit. Stash all this shit. We got some more spark plugs. High quality PAL oil necessary for making polymer. Okay. Got some bones. All right, we're in a new area getting new area stuff. That's good. That's progress. I got enough things for this? No, right? Not even close, no. I saw another one while we were out there, but I didn't go back for it. Oh, well, he's stuck in the air again. Oh my god. Okay, so cell arrays don't work as transporters. We need to find a different transporter. I want someone... The point of the cell array is there a transporter that doesn't really do anything else. I want someone... A daydream could be good. Daydream could be a good substitute, but she also flies and might run into the same problem. You're going to get stuck mining. I don't want you to go to the mines. For now, we're going to make them daydreams. You're just gathering. Your transporter too, miner too. I can throw a Tombat out there. I think he's going to get end up in the mines a lot. Oh, that was what we used Kilimari for. That's right. That was Kilimari's entire purpose is that she's just transporter gatherer. And it's transporter two. All right, what does this motherfucker do? Grint, uh, you can ride the fat guy? I can ride this fella? Cat press is the... Uh, Grint tells exclusive skill. He just goes... <laughs> the other two attacks are pretty ass. He's a strong neutral, so he's just here to whoop ass. He just does Demoglio. He just do be bonking pretty hard. I'll bring him. He's a big guy and he's funny looking. I want to ride him because that's really fucking hilarious. Okay, we should have a ton of technology unlocks. I'll show you the food I left in here went bad. Oh, it's still good for now. Not for much longer, though. Someone did eat one. There were eight of those. Someone ate one of them. Is anyone at Poo Poo's Sanity? Where's Sanity on this? Oh, 68. Okay, I want to take this. I'm going to go around. I'm going to just feed this to people who have shitty Sanity. First, you must catch him. We sent us, oh, that immediately, completely, fully restored his sanity. All right, Pog. 
which then instantly dropped back down to 81. Can't interact with him. Over encumbered by my 49 ingots. That's good. You, you're sleeping because you're pissed. I can't interact with most of them for some reason. I love the daydream. Oh, she's using her little hands. That's less funny. I thought daydream was just sitting there telekinetically fucking crafting. Just like... At the workbench until everything kind of figured its shit out on its own. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, I have a lot of stuff. Um, okay. Oh boy. Let's just do this. Oh, they reset. Cool. Do that. Just eat the good ones. Be happy. Eat and be merry, my children. Achieve happiness with your life. I have so many random fucking meats. I, I don't know what to do with all this shit. I have too much stuff! Uh, I don't know what to do with all this. So many things. It's hard because you can't sort. And if you try to sort, you're just going to make yourself depressed. Because then your pals are just going to drop shit literally everywhere and it's going to be unsorted again. So it's like, why? Literally, why bother? I like their deer venison. I'm going to put them in the fridge. It's not going to do anything. Because it has 12 seconds to live. Okay, we'll see what happens. What happens when this is zero? Is it just gone? I haven't seen one expire yet. Oh, it's minus one? Oh, who fucking cares? Oh my god, who gives a shit? That's all it does? It's just minus one off the stack? Fuck. The biggest problem with the fridge is you must choose one. You can either have the fridge be functional or you can open it. <laughs> you cannot do both. Okay. I know's up. It's okay. The good food's in the front. They should all just be eating the good food now. So I guess I just put this where the fuck ever, I assume. So I'm going to put it in my house. Because I don't really care about this particular base being pretty. This is the base that functions. We'll go for, we'll do pretty later. Oh yeah, I ain't doing that. Uh, which one of you fuckers is handicraft? None of you, isn't it? None of my party's got handicraft anymore. Little fucking squirrel dude dies. There you go. He also glows, but it's yellow because he's electrical. I, I honestly, uh, Vajra, I think if this game had that, if this game had the ability to like look at a thing and lock it and say, only apply this. I think that would fix 90% of the transporter problems. I think the transporter problems are... Oh, I'm short on beds? No, I'm not. I think the transporter problems are vastly majoritively them for some reason deciding to go try to do shit in a box on the other side of the entire camp. If I could tell you, no. Only wood goes in this box and only this box takes wood. I think that would fix... Why can't I hold all these oranges with 200 logs in the middle of the base because there's no reason he'd be over there with logs. That's my theory. My prevailing theory. I'll just finish this. Just give me seconds. Thank 
use my pal spheres back up. Got my mega spheres. We're pretty okay on arrows. Okay, let's think. I got four skill points. Give me an even thousand. Give me an even two hundred. I really feel like attack is so ass. Maybe work speed. Maybe work speed's not bait. If I got my work speed to the point where I worked at like ten times the speed of a pal. The spark is pumping the shit out of my leg. <laughs> Very horny this morning. Then I would be able to make things like this myself just very rapidly. It's definitely good convenience, I think. It'd be good convenience. Okay, that makes me way less afraid of the food timer. Especially for stacks of food in my inventory. I don't care about that as much anymore. And by as much, I mean pretty much at all. So this is just a passive. I don't have to do anything. You guys just handiwork faster now? Is there one of those for transporting? I gotta look at the tech tree. Before I do that, though, I should take a break. Because I haven't done that yet, and it's been like three hours. So, I'm gonna stand up and stretch my legs. I haven't been drinking. This is the problem. See this? See how much water I've drank today? None? Fucking none water? I miss you, Hydrate Bot. I appreciate it. We have the, we have the redeem for it. It's good. It helps. But like, I just, these games send me into tunnel vision mode. And I just look at it and I just go. And I don't think about anything else. I don't stand up. I don't take breaks. I don't drink water. I don't eat food. I just... Like, I feel, it's like Hypnotoad from Futurama. I'm just, I'm, there's so many things I want to do. There's so many things to do. I can't take a break. We're still working on shit. Hyperfocus. It's like hyperfocus, but without the parts of hyperfocus, it would be useful. <laughs> I'll be right back, everybody. Don't go too far. It's coffee time. BRB. <laughs> Nobody is born cool, except of course. We're receiving an important transmission. It turns out there's actually a second page on the coffee roster. Alexrin, Anomaly, Adamok, Canzone, Krimi, Destro, Nets, Falcon Punch, 7272, GR, Jake, Jasteron, Tresnerick, Markwell, Marshall, Maverick, X29, Mercerhold, Emma Wolf, Moon Wolf, King 24, and Axe Chief Oak, she's 2010, Peter Carl, Peter Shooter, Will, Scott, Collins, Sean Regard, 786, The Noble Searcher, Taraka, Octana, Waffle Copter, Uraila, Z-Pulse 2013. You guys are cool. Hey there. How would you like a robot to welcome you into the chat every stream? Because coffee subs get that for being very special and cool. Wow! Seriously though. sermon everyone's fucking racing each other to the shitter <laughs> yes believe it are you gonna say that we should perhaps have a second shitter <laughs> because i can care Ah, numbers. But sorry, you space twelve.
We came full circle. Oh my god. We've come full circle. No way. The Desarius base 12. <laughs> so picture this. Okay. You're in a dungeon. And you are being cornered by a skeleton. Spooky. Super spooky. And you've only got this dagger to defend yourself with. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to stab the skeleton, but it's not really a thing. Doesn't cut bone good. It goes right through the bones. He just calls you a jerk. There's nothing else that really happens there. So you decide, well, right, maybe I can try something else. Kind of knock him down. Trip him. You can trip him. You can do a trip attack. And then he's on the floor. Maybe you have an easier time getting at him. Your friends might be able to come and help kick him. and try Tactical to get advantage. Him. Exactly. So you make this trip attack. And you roll this d20. And, you know, you could pass or you could fail. You either six of them knock him down or not. Exactly. But let's say you roll like a 19. And you add your modifier to that. And that's high enough that you can trip the skeleton so hard. You pinwheels in the air. Smashes his face on the floor. Just explodes. Explodes into pieces. <laughs> dead. Okay. Right? The other possibility, though, of course, the universal tragedy of role-playing games, the, the nat, nat one. one. Absolutely. You roll this nat one, and you try to push this skeleton, and the skeleton just just pushes you right back, just, just right on the face, boom, knocks you right onto the floor, and you almost die from embarrassment. There's so many options. So many. That's why degrees of success is the best thing about Pathfinder. Absolutely. <laughs> So gone are the days of simple binary pass and failing yeah. because there are four outcomes for pretty much everything. everything. You've got your critical success, but you now also have the critical failure. And I don't think anything encapsulates this better than the concept of the basic saving throw. Sure. Trap goes off, critically successful, you're fine. Regular success on reflex save, you take half critical failure, you double how much damage <laughs> you it does. eat it right in the face. And uh, this also applies to a lot of spells, too, which is really great because nothing feels worse as a spellcaster than you expend this really powerful spell slot, the enemy passes the save, and nothing happens. Exactly. Seventh level spell slot just absolutely gone to the wind. Yeah. And now, Sad trombone. On their success or even your own failure a lot of the time, you will still usually get a reduced effect. But it also lets some of these incredibly potent encounter ending, like incapacitating effects, get shoved down under the critical failure. Mm. So they're not as prevalent, but you still get those cool moments. Yeah, exactly. But you don't just Less. turn the boss off. <laughs> Unless like, you well, do that, we're done. Real good though. So the thing about this crit fails, how does it actually happen, right? Well, classic way it is, you know, you roll a 20, critical success, you roll a 1, one. critical failure, right? Of course. But it's not just 20s and 1s anymore. Uh, now the way it works is if you beat a DC by 10 or more, that's a critical success no matter what you roll. So if you're fighting a goblin that's only got 16 armor class, if you get a 26 total, no matter what the dice said, yep. that's a critical success. Absolutely. Uh, this is awesome because it makes a lot of these bonuses that Pathfinder is so known for so much more impactful. Very if you get impactful. a plus one to your attack rolls, that's not just 5% chance to hit. That's also 5% chance to crit. Which sometimes that's, can double your that's chances. That's huge. Yeah, absolutely. It's huge. So these plus and minus ones are very, very important. And the same deal if you apply a negative penalty to a boss monster for example. It goes so much further. It's way harder for that boss to crit you back. And that's important. Yes, uh, absolutely. But this also leads to these kind of spectacular moments happening a lot more often. Exactly. Uh, because by the very nature of the system, it's not just two faces on the D20 that are making it happen. And based on your play and your team synergy, it can be a lot more. So with the scaling of Pathfinder, one thing that this plus or minus 10 really does is make bosses terrifying when yeah. the giant demon crits your fighter on a 14. Oh, yeah. And make the heroic group encounters where you are overleveled fighting against some of these cultists you've been versing the entire campaign and suddenly you crit them on a 12 and are basically immune to their magic. Yeah. It scales so well. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the, the, the heroes getting stronger over their old adversaries translates way more interestingly and you get to see more effects come in too so things that happen that would normally be very disruptive to a combat like right. disarming a, a foe or just you know paralyzing them turning them Whoa. off with a spell thing like that that only happens on a critical success but uh, welcome back everybody i hopped out while i was on break because raids exist <laughs> knowing my luck a raid would show up as soon as i went to the bathroom and I would get nuisanced. Okay, that does mean everybody needs to be reassigned to their jobs, right? Which is pretty much just you and the penguin. As long as the penguin's sitting on the fridge, I'm happy. Honestly, everything else is secondary. Your ass needs to be over here, though. Wait, huh? 
What do you mean no work available? What? No work available. I threw you into a fucking ranch. But you're a you're a farm animal. Whatever. Okay. You guys can figure it out. The fucking ass assign yourselves. I don't care. Okay. I have plenty of pokeballs, plenty of great balls, a lot of egg. And I'll make a ton of roast dyke through here to sit here for later. Let's look at our tech tree. That was what I need to do. There should be a bunch of new stuff in here. Rush or saddle is. Oh, these guys are killing the regular trees. Okay, they'll, they'll do that over the logging camp. That's fine, honestly. That clears out some space. I don't hate that. Fuck them trees up. Show them what's up. Give them the. Assert your dominance over nature. Okay, so sandbag. I need to just buy all this shit. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Hip lantern. That's amazing, but also very expensive. I'm going to go for it anyway, though. That seems really good. Let's look at our new shit. We need weapon workbench. We need ultra balls. Those are both going to be important. Flame cauldron is going to make ingot smelting go faster. I have a problem. Give me that musket. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Come from the top again. Okay, so that's just how that's gonna work. Fox Sparks. This is your fucking moment. This is, we're gonna go commit an actual war crime. This is all gonna be one whole ass war crime. This is straight up. Honestly, great shit. Great fucking shit. There were three survivors and my cat's gonna sit on them. <laughs> wow. You guys have no idea what you just fucking walked into. <laughs> oh, that's why flamethrowers are a war crime. Oh, no, that makes a lot of sense now, actually. No, I totally, totally understandable. I see. I see. So what we're going to want is a Fortnite-esque death funnel, which fortunately, with the fact, the way that our base is set up and the fact they like to seem to spawn up here, that kind of happened organically. But like a Fortnite-esque death funnel that we can just make people run into our fox sparks and just get obliterated. They had never had a shadow of a fucking chance. Not even a little bit. Utterly fucking destroyed. If nothing else, this game's a good reminder on what we have. That's a very solid window, fair enough. Good reminder. It is a very solid reminder on why war has to have rules. You might think to yourself, it's war. The whole point's to fucking kill each other. Why do we need rules? Well, you know, there's got to be a fucking line somewhere. And that line is somewhere around uh, using an on-fire animal to just hose down an unlimited number of antagonists. I'm gonna put all that in here. You guys eat up, be happy, live your life. Uh, let me see. Did I spend all my tech points? Now we got interrupted. We were in the middle of doing this. We got so rudely interrupted. Where is the cat saddle? I want to ride the cat. Yes, Grintail saddle. Okay. Musket. Coarse ammo, gunpowder. All kind of go together. All seem like they're gonna be kind of important. Stun baton. Pals, oh, this is a capture weapon. Okay. You, you have to get to level 22 before you get one. Holy shit. 
Oh, our first helmet. Is there anything in an RPG that makes you feel better than unlocking your first helmet? I feel like it's just the point where you go, yeah. Yeah, I made it. We're in there. I have something on my head now. This is apparently going to start being relevant, so let's make some of that. Everyone like the earlier one? Because it takes fucking PAL production line, and I don't understand how I fucked up. It requires a production that I don't have. It takes production assembly line. I assume that's a bug, or... I have massively fucking missed something because, like, I can't make that. Production assembly line, I assume, is gonna... It's been fucking 28, dude. Like, it's... I'm not just missing something. It's just not possible yet. They just... It's definitely an incorrect text box. That's fair. That makes sense. Honestly, yeah, that's fair. Nails my nemesis well that's the entire reason i never built it is because it claims it needs something i'm fucking never gonna have well, probably not not never but like not for a while okay chamber for increasing a pal's rank that seems important breeding farm okay oh this oh my god it's huge yeah okay, i don't know that we're building one of these here honestly i think that's just too big a pass on that's way too fucking big. It's massive. Now, the only thing about this... Is that the trailer... The trailer... The revealed trailer from way back when... Has got some very interesting... Implications... About what I assume is the breeding chamber which is the little section where they have a big what a derpy dinosaur looking motherfucker and a strange little electric man fused together and make an electric derpy looking dinosaur motherfucker i'm not sure if that's something you just do with the breeding facility but it sure looks like you can cross breed pals the trailer very heavily implied there was some pal crossbreeding. I'm interested in this. I wonder what kind of weird shit we can do. By the way, since stocking the base up with shit that's not ass, I have seen none of my pals up in the ticker at the top right have any kind of a problem. They've just been happy the whole time. They're taking short breaks, but, like, they're supposed to take short breaks. Since they started eating sautéed chickpea and stuff. I think they've been vibing. Breeding farm seems like it needs some dedicated base. It does need, like, a lot of space. It does very much seem like you're supposed to have bases for specific purposes. Because a lot of this shit is huge. And a lot of general base operations would flow a lot better if I was doing less things in the base. Like, if I had a base that's just like this base, logs, and mines. That's what it does. I've got a logging camp, and I've got a mining hole, and I've got pals to work them. That's what this base is for. It would probably be strictly more efficient. That's clipped into the ground. Hold surprisingly quickly. Okay, so we're very much like we're very much out of space. Out of space for things here. I need an egg incubator still, which is the main thing that I can get now.
which I'll set around this corner, maybe. This can be the egg incubation hole. I'll build this on myself while my armada builds a breeding farm over there. And now we're finally going to be able to utilize eggs. And I'll put a chest that's got all the eggs in it next to this. Although, realistically, the egg chest is not going to matter. Because now we're going to be, you know, doing all of the eggs. Should have done this first. So this will be running the whole time I was getting this all set up. Thank you, Daydream. Daydream is finished building egg incubator. Bitch. I finished building the egg incubator and Daydream was there for like 20 seconds. They're very excited for the breeding center. The pals are ready to fuck. Seems very comfortable. Is it? Okay. I don't really know what determines that. Okay, so I need... Instead it needs cake. Not enough cake. I don't know how to get cake. I would assume the cooking pot. Cake. Oh my god. I don't even know how you get milk and honey. Eight eggs is unhinged. We're gonna need to have a chickpea working at the ranch. I... So, I see what you- I, I now see what you mean about the breeding pit needing its own base. And I agree. <laughs> Just not even gonna bother trying to fight that battle. Breeding pit definitely needs to be fully supported by its own thing. For sure. You need- you're gonna need, like, farms that are ranches and farms that are pumping out the stuff that you need for the breeding thing. That's, uh, that's fucking- that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. How essence condenser needs ancient civilization parts, which means we need to run more dungeons. Storage. Cool is more stuff. Some you could make Okay, you know what? This shit right here. This is the shit I want in my survival craft game. I want 200 fucking options for random pointless bits of furniture, okay? They they know what I fucking want in my life. It's that. That's what I want. Two different kinds of fireplaces that just look nice. Flame cauldron. 50 ingots? Are you insane? Okay. Unhinged. Unhinged. Only two of you are mine foremans. Have I gotten any more mine foremans recently? I know I saw a ton of logging foremans. There's a logging foreman. I'm looking for the ones that are out of order. This means they're put in here later. Motivational leader is good for crafting. Donald strategist. Workaholic, diet lover, motivational leader, burly body, logging foreman, logging foreman, motivational leader, burly body. So no then. Stronghold strategist. All right, now that's still all we got. Okay. Need more ores. Good news, they're kind of just all around. Probably better places to go get them, but they are sort of just everywhere. I love that you get XP for everything. I'm always a huge fan of that, even if it's a completely fucking insignificant amount. The fact that you get XP for something like picking up a pal sphere off of the floor. I appreciate it when it just feels like everything you do contributes at least a little bit. Like it's at least doing something, you know? Jesus fucking Christ. You can mine so little ore before your inventory is full. It's only insignificant until it's not adds up. I don't think the plus ones are ever going to add up to a significant amount. 
in the world where I get 1,025 XP for catching a dog. I don't think the plus one for picking up a piece of shit off the ground is going to wrap around to relevancy. It's literally one. It's uno. Unexperienced point. So if I pick up 1,020 or whatever bits of paldium, then yeah, I will have caught one Pokemon's worth of XP. Stats reprioritizing on the new playthrough. I think our stat spread's almost identical. I truly cannot be sold on leveling attack being anything other than bait. I really can't. I've come around on HP because while it is based on your armor, this was easier than opening the door, trust me. Well, well, you do get it on your armor. You know, having a little bit of leeway is good, but leveling attack seems like mega fucking bait. Yes. It's 2%. 2. 1, 2. Will that add up if you have a ton of levels in it? Yeah, sure, but I could put 25 levels in health and have 2,500 more health. Also, yeah, the pals do so much fucking damage. It's really, I'm my damage is supplementary at best. I got a baby chill it. <laughs> it's the chill it, he's a coward. Oh, he's a pussy. I just realized that it is my curse that I will have all the eggs on me whenever I try to go out and do anything. So let me put the eggs away. Work speed's overlooked a lot. Yeah, I, st I put... Not zero in there. But, you know, close. I'm just now coming around to trying out work speed. I'm giving it a shot. Work speed's really good for when you're like, I want something and I want it right now. Then... You being able to just, like, personally make something like a piece of PAL gear. Especially something in a workbench, because only one PAL can work a bench at a time. So, it doesn't matter how many efficient handicraft PALs you have. Only one of them is working on the thing that you want to make. It can be one PAL and you. So, if there's something where you're like, I just want to make this and then go back outside. Work speed's probably pretty good stuff. I'm, I'm definitely seeing the appeal of work speed. I want to fucking... I want to go back to the ancient ruined church that we got the fast draw point le uh, next to that I very intentionally did not even glance inside. I want to fucking fight this asshole, but, you know, he has a billion health and I hit him for two so you know we'll get there that's a uh, someday uncommon crossbows don't work work speeds quality of life away likes to loot more stuff I mean yeah which is also good but short of expeditions where I'm going out with the entire purpose of getting ore which admittedly happens fairly often how often does that matter you're never that far from a fast draw point how often does the drop off trip actually make a difference It's not never. Like, it, it definitely adds time. It's like trying to be efficient banking in RuneScape. Like, yeah, sure, it makes shit go a little bit faster. But most of the time is punch rock. And waiting for the ingots to smelt anyway and all that other shit. This pingle is actually sitting on the cooler. Okay, thank you. That's enough. Make all these ingots. Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you for the 100 ingots in advance. I think stamina is my most leveled thing. Stamina, I mean, yeah. as much as I'm poo-pooing carry capacity, carry capacity is definitely my most leveled thing, for sure. I guess this is the wrong box. I mean, this is what I'm, this is where I'm at. It's, I put 
Stamina has had 10 levels. Let's see, we're 23. I've leveled stamina 10 times. So 10 of my 13 level ups have been stamina. The other one has been work speed, and I think all of the rest has been evenly split between weight and HP pretty much. Like I'm definitely mostly tunneling stamina. Okie dokie. Let's sleep so it's actually daytime when I go to... Wait, what was it I needed? Ingots, which I needed to produce, right? Because things are starting to take... Like, fucking... Oh, yeah. Good good idea. Good point, Malpaka. Let me get my team back before I fucking do anything. Let's get my team back out. Okay. I wonder about the efficiency. I like these... Party buffing things. While in team, increase the attack power of fire pels. I wonder... Similar to the five daydream infinite meme, four rubies and a fox spark. <laughs> and then you just flamethrower the fox sparks with four rubies buffing them. It doesn't, I don't know how much. It doesn't say how much it increases the attack power of Fire Palace. But fucking four rubies. Oh, it does say it's 10%. So it'd, be, it'd only be 40%, I guess. It's not nothing, but that's not a ton. If it stacks everything in this fucking game, stacks Tastuki. These guys don't hate fun. There's a reason this game is popping off, and it's just because they let you do insane shit and just go nuts. Seems a little cold. That's probably because it's nighttime. I have. Yeah, yeah it's probably just best to see five. I uh, have five box, box sparks, so you have more uptime. <sighs> Uptime's important. I guess I could get metal chest and but like I'm just I'm still not at the point where I would ever voluntarily spend ingots on a fluffy pal bed. Oh is the reason we had sanity issues because I skip nighttime of makeshift Oh right musket! We gotta make the weapon bench. That was what we were trying to do. Which takes all of these nails. Good work. Whoever made these, probably Daydream. I appreciate you. I mean, realistically, it was probably Daydream. Daydream probably made the nails. I think that's exactly as many as I need to get the workbench. Oh, a little extra. Now, we're we going to start making a second rank of benches behind the previous benches. The army is descending. Do you hear that? The thunderous footsteps of the approaching legions. Right, this. I need more high quality pal oil. Oh, grappling gun is also locked in here. It might have been somewhere else, but it is also in here. But here's the thing about high quality pal oil. I don't know where I got it. Ostensibly from a pal. So, you know, theoretically, if we just go back to where we were and we just keep exploring and catching new pals that we haven't caught 10 of, you know, it, the problem will solve itself. But I, I do not actually know where that came from. Also, I didn't see stun baton in there. Did I miss it? No, I don't see stun baton. Oh, it's over here. Okay, that's doable. Electric organ is an issue because I've never found an electric type before. The only electric type I have, I saved from Syndicate. Ooh, ooh Gale Claw! How they can easily take flight even while grasping a human. It's prone to letting go when tired, which has led to the sudden demise of more than a few souls. New pal! He's a gatherer too. Can be summoned and used instead of a glider. Allows you to fire a gun while gliding with this pal. And he comes with only one attack. And it's a 60 power face fucker. Sick. Okay. That's cool. Throw an egg in there. Do our mission update. Look at the pal up. See what things drop. That makes sense. 
I haven't used a large egg before. I don't know what a large egg is going to make. I wonder if it's going to make a large lad. 30 minutes. All right, I'll see you later. How box upgrade. Two fluffy pal beds and to play pals to work the base. We're close. We just looked at this. We're close, but we're not quite there. One more level. Um, um uh, what do we need? What do we think the base needs at this point? It's actually come full circle to... I don't really know what we need. The transporter is having a fucking moment. Oh, it has nothing to do with flying. It has to do with logging camps are really broke. Fair enough. Logging camps are just super brokey. I don't know which one of you that is, so I'm just gonna do that to make sure you're both okay. That's a fucking logging camp issue. Well, our stone isn't going great. We have a lot of wood, we don't have a lot of stone. I'm hungry. So maybe we could get combat out here. Combat's a good... The, the reason I didn't want to put him out here before is because he's going to get distracted by mining, but honestly, that's fine. We could use a little bit more mining. We're getting we're fairly low on stone. The wood supplies are finally really starting to get there. They kind of build a lumber camp on the edge of power range. Oh, I wonder if that's what it is. You think that's what it is? But, yeah, I agree, Tomcat time. Air Gun Rider said he has the same issue. Yeah. The fuck? Oh, cat saddle. I want to ride my fella. I want to ride a big chunky lad. Yes. Yeah. I'll help. We'll work on the. Oh, yours is also on the edge. Maybe it is a being on the edge problem. That might be the. It's very possible that's the issue. Is that it, uh, the pals are glitching out with the boundary. Make a Chillit saddle too, because Chillit seems like a nice guy, and honestly, this doesn't take like anything. That's free enough, I'll just make it because it's free. I do please return my base to watch the penguin spontaneously teleport 50 feet straight up, fall back down, and splatter like a fucking egg. So I don't know. The pals are back to eating red berries. I think every now and then, if the pals get upset -y, I'll just do a round of giving them some nice food. Although the fluffy beds should help with the sanity thing. And then we'll just delete all their shitty beds, make fluffy beds, and they'll get more sanity back when they take a nap. I want to ride my giant cat. And just fire my crossbow. I want to fire my fucking musket! While I'm riding upon my noble steed, but I have to figure out how to get pal fluid, not fluids, oil. Pal juice. Sticky pal liquid. I don't fucking know. Pal jizz. This well, the opposite of sticky, but still. Okay. How does this work? I'm gonna ride my boy. Oh my god, he's so big. Can I control where he does cat press? Okay, no, it goes a fixed different distance forward. I just gotta learn it. Da, 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 da. Power shot's pretty easy to hit with. That's a really fast moving projectile. Da, 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 da. Not convinced that has a hitbox though. Are we confident that there's a hitbox on cat press? <laughs> Like, are we sure? Are we sure Cat Press is a hitbox? Da, 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 da. 
This is so dumb and I love it. Look at his jump! Look at his little paws! He barely leaves the ground! I love him! He's fucking, he doesn't even like go up, he just sticks his feet out! <laughs> He's beautiful. He's a beautiful fella. I love him. He looks so happy. <laughs> Jump. Jump's a very strong word. Ah. There's a power statue in case you, like, haven't built one of your own yet. The cheaper here? No. Oh. How did my amount of pal souls go down? I've never used one. It must have went into something I constructed. Okay. What? I have 10 of you. I don't remember. I have 84 fucking Pokeballs, so I've reached my record as hose. Oh. They're my chest of base. I have two on me. That makes sense. I'm not at home. We do have our 10 rubies. I don't need any more rubies. Hmm. Double steed! Oh. Hiya! Okay, well, he jumped to fucking Brazil that time. Whoops. <laughs> How do you tell how far he's gonna jump? Sometimes he just goes to fucking space. Hell yeah, brother. Can I throw a Pokeball? Yeah. Oh my god, I can. Yeah. I can throw Pokeballs on horseback. This is amazing. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it does have a hitbox. Look at this guy! He's so happy and gigantic. That hit three times. I mean, the first one killed him, but like. Fata Kata. Need box. Help. Thank you, Giant Cato. Oh, TM tree. There's a TM tree over here. Yes. Fruits. Not to imply that I like use these because I, I should probably just use them. I'm going to end up hoarding these forever. These are my Skyrim consumables for sure. Shadow burst. Ignis blast. Air cannon. Isn't air cannon the fucking dog shit default attack? Did I just get a TM for tackle? I feel like I just got a TM for tackle. I'll run. I love you, big dumb cat. Oh my god, it does! It just triple hits! What the fuck? It just does that! Hello. <laughs> That's on purpose! Yeah. It's just kind of rare they survive hit one! Yeah. Power shot's amazing! Man, I should have waited to fight Zoe. I could have fought Zoe while I was riding my own noble steed. She could have been riding her shitty fucking great value brand Electabuzz, and I could have been riding giant hilarious cat. Oh. Okay, sometimes it 
ulti. I don't think I can cat press him. I think he'll just explode. <gasps> if I cat press him, he's just gonna fucking die. Can you be fighter? I mean, maybe, but there's not much of a point, right? She doesn't drop anything. <gasps> is this defense is infinity? He took like one percent of one percent of his health. Okay, we're done. Act three years. What's going on over here? Hey, be at peace. Fuck. <laughs> The <laughs> fucking end here is trashing those cats. Hey, this is a weird little swamp. We've been in a weird little swamp a little bit. I just thought there might be some. Gotta be like a boss or something out here that we just didn't walk past. We're not Mamma Rest ready yet. Someday soon, perhaps. Bam. <laughs> Whoops. He's so strong. He's too powerful. He kills everything. Come here. I'm gonna get you. That yeah, was way, way over, over, overshot. I'm trying to compensate for the fact he's running and I can't see him, and aiming is really hard because there's trees. You were given 50 opportunities. All right, let's go this way. See where this goes. The Memorist 11? Pretty sure it's 31. They're all 31. They're not, no, it's not like they're uncommon. They're all over the place. I just can't, whoops. Did I just do, oh my God. I can just fucking run them over. I don't even have to fight. He's so fat. Hmm. This is it. This is the future of combat. <gasps> it's just fucking... It's unaimable. It's impossible. It can't be done. Oh, yeah? Oh, are they too big for me to run into? They're too big. <laughs> Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Okay, Marsh Island. Thank you, Grimtail. I think I need to go up this mountain now. This is probably the do you have a flying mount check. I don't, so I'm gonna climb this like an idiot. Because while I have Nighthawks, I just haven't bothered building a saddle for one yet because I can ride my funny cat. And I... Oops, sprint, uh, shift is not sprint climb, it's just let go. <laughs> the sprint button being the let go button while you're climbing is a choice. It's gonna take my brain some time to acclimate to. Ooh, an egg. This one looks like a big fucking island. Oh, baby. I yeah. wanna ride my funny cat. Come here, oh, funny cat, let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Whoa! 26? It's not impossible. Uh, it's gonna be tough. I, he's, he's gonna beat the shit out of my pals for sure. He's way higher level than my pals, and he's a little bit higher level than me. Oh, we're in a definitely a higher level island here. All right. So this island is just... Oh, there's one. Catris. This island is just default island version 2. This one starts turning into anything. Fuck him up, my massive cat.
I'm not sure what to do about that. Ooh, she fucking mid-aired him. Cease! She hit the fucking Pokeball away. How, who else is hitting me? Someone else is fucking me up. Yeah. Okay, I think we're past default ball pound. Yeah. Oh my god, am I dying? Yeah. 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 I don't know if this one's happening, guys. Yeah. What? This is impossible. Holy fuck. Now yeah, we're done. GG. There was an attempt. All right. So this is impossible. The uh, We have found not so much the difficulty spike, but the difficulty absolute inconceivable cliff. Oh, they have the... Islands are labeled. But it doesn't have like a level range or anything on them. We just have to figure it out. Okay, this became completely and utterly impossible extremely quickly. So that's fully unwinnable. I'm not really sure what to do about it. That's, I mean, we did get like absolutely inconceivably keklamoud on the amount of balls that it didn't end up in i know the odds were only 25 percent but she ate about nine ten 25 percent balls so there's definitely an argument where if we got less hilariously inconceivably god awful squid rng we would have just you know caught it but since that's the only universal constant in my entire life we have to play around that. And with Squid RNG, these enemies seem like they're completely fucking unfightable. Unfightable and uncatchable. I don't... The self-destruct is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm assuming it does not do 9999999999 to the targets. Surely they just do that to themselves. Because if they do it to the targets, obviously you like you win the entire game as soon as you catch one of them. So that's definitely not how that works. If I experience any percent under 80, might as well be zero. Kind of seems like it. It's uh it's comical how many 25s failed. Okay, so I think we're just too low level for this island. Yep, and my inventory is now randomly generated, so that's... The true penalty of dying is your completely randomly generated inventory. Oh, randomly generated equipment also is on there. Okay. Okie dokie. Are they coming hordes, too? Jewelry rant. So where is the part of the game that's between level 5 and level 28? Oh, we gotta leave. We're dead. GG. Because the two islands that are kind of close to where you start are level 1 to 2, and then this is level 20 to 25. So there's, there's got to be something between those two. There's, there are numbers between two and 20. I guess there's technically Ike there, dear. And like bosses. Ouch. Are you running out of stamina while you're swimming? Just kind of sets your fucking health to die. <sighs> 
Okay. Maybe we'll just go the other direction. There's got to be shit between 2 and 25. Because this shit is useless and that shit's unfightable. I got it one shot to 5. I guess he's sleeping. Well, this is how you farm fucking land ball meat. Just running fuckers over forever. Surely this area that's so fancy looking does something. What's going on over here? Corpse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you throwing Pokeballs from cat back does not work very well. It's very wonky and ineffective. Well, that was that did not reload. In case anyone was curious, that uh, actually just insta killed the eighty nine percent lift monk. No, there's fucking nothing over here. Probably just nothing. Not a boss or anything. Just the void. A lot of nothing on these islands. There's a pretty large amount of just nothing. And I don't know if I'm just doing the squiddish special of perfectly expertly avoiding absolutely anything that could possibly be interesting. I one shot at a fucking Nightwing. Okay. Because I'm really good at that. I'm great at perfectly dodging all the content. Weaving right between all of it. But there is like... There's just nothing. There's nothing out here. These entire islands with, with uh, as far as I can tell, zero content on them. This island quite literally has... It had one grin tail. That was it. That's all I've seen so far. This is the mutton vacuum. You run over lamb balls with it and they turn into mutton. Excuse me. Trying to fit through. I'm very large. Thank you. Nope, I'm going that. It's not the right direction. I'm going. Nope, not the right direction. I'm going this way. Sorry, I've been going the wrong direction for the past probably two and a half minutes. So let me spend the next... Two and a half minutes on doing all of that wrong direction. And then... However long the journey should have taken after that. Going the right way. Well, I'll go fight this little boss. Let's see what it is. Any more bosses? Because last time I caught a boss, it was funny cat. Well, my team is leveling up pretty effectively from just stamping through the fucking forest and running everybody over. This seems to be a... Pretty solid grinding method to just run them all over. That's not super low XP. Dead. Dead. Even the super low level bond, so I guess you could just hard farm. Is that what they want you to do? Can't run over rubies, rubies. So it's only pals that are considered tiny. There's clearly like a, a tag. Can I run over syndicate thing? Damn it. We're just sleeping on a beach, by the way. They're just fucking unconscious in the middle of a field. Hmm. This is a whole ass arena. Okay. The old realm of the invincible. Uh, uh, this is like a boss boss. Yeah. I'm ready. This is like a... Okay. Yeah, no, this mm. is a boss fight. 
This isn't just like, oh, cool, that ate my cooldown. Um, all right, well, then in that case, gun weasel. You were very close to me in the bullets. That is a person, that is just a human wizard. Oh, my cat's in rage mode. Her defense is a... Okay. If the cat's defense was a million, her defense is a trillion. She... Not a big fan of taking damage. I love when he bounces off her head. He just fucking skips. Up, oh, she gave up. She's trying to run him into the point blank. I don't want the point blank. It does a very scary amount of damage. You keep that. Okay, her hat protects her from crits. I have to actually hit her in the in the face. Her hat is not part of the crit zone. A good cap press, buddy. Yeah. Are you done yet? No? Okay. Right in the between the eyes. For twos and threes. Right in between the eyes. You'll not corrupt my team, furry bait. We set her on fire. Good work. Good work, Fox Sparks. Let's set her on more fire. Fucking cooker. You'll not tempt us, wench! We have a bond stronger than degeneracy. Gone! Get my pick. All right, good work. Oh, jeez, I can't roll. I don't know why. Hey, hold this. Oh, you might need a Giga. That's okay. I brought Gigas. Yes. Gimme. With the power of shadows, it produces arcane phenomena, prefers to eat food wa, and is particularly hostile towards Wixen. I don't know what a Wixen is, so don't worry about that. We're good. <laughs> this bitch just learned something called Seed Machine Gun. Hell yeah, brother! This thing is just a fucking smig! I love it! Okay. Sealed Rumble the Invincible takes no fucking damage. Yeah, that does track. Alright, sick. Okay, we picked up a good fella. I'm the nice lady. Is there anything else in here? Is there any loot? I mean, the reward is obviously the pal, but is there anything else? Got ancient spark plugs. Fox Sparks produced 58 ingot. Good job, Fox Sparks. I don't think so. I think that's it. All right, let's go. We got a furry cat wizard. Good work, team. All I had to do was have my cat sit on her a bunch of times. Yeah. Did you do 360 summoning? And then just kind of poke her. What? I'm throwing the right balls. I don't want to throw fucking gigas here. Is it a goddamn Eevee? <laughs> the power of friendship and this gun I found. Yeah. Works every fucking time, man. They'll never overcome the power of lead. The ancient homies Smith and Wesson came together to ensure that this furry bitch would tempt none no further. I wish you the best and find the syndicate, you weird little cat. I gotta go. You can't turn the catrice into a mattress. Can't argue with that. All right, Catris, who is a logging foreman. She's... 
We'll find the other neutral pal. Okay, she's a farming pal. That's good. Her attacks look like they fuck. Flare arrow is the triple shot. Shout out. These, these point blank AoEs seem like they're really good just in general. And then dark ball's all right. I think this is just a regular fireball. Yeah, okay. All right, you seem like you got some hands. You seem like you fuck. Um, Ruby, honestly, your buff's only 10%. She also has flare arrow. I mean, spirit fire is the really good one, but Fox Barks has spirit fire. I don't need you. Thanks. It's been, it's been real. Uh, Catrice is my family now. She's transporter two, handicraft two, and she can make medicine. Oh, she knows how to do alchemy with her little hands. Understandable. Okay. I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. Can't take the liberty of assuming that the AI of like 10 different pals is broken in a heap. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> um, it's too heavy. Too many ingus. Oh, the fucking, why am I stingy with boxes? There's no reason to be stingy with boxes. Just put another... Just put it in this chest. Fuck it. This can be the stone and ingots chest now. Congratulations. Here are your ingots. 45 ingots. Yeah, so basically our entire camp is bugged out over here. Um, so that sucks. Don't worry. I fixed them. You go here, you go there. I have a lot of meat, actually. Let's cook something nice. Let's cook 11 of these muttons that I got from just stampeding everybody. Open this up, fill it with fucking everything. The honey doesn't go bad. So this is trash. Ignis Blast is also trash? I don't want to really get rid of a bunch of these. I just don't want to hold them all either because I'm going to have like a hundred. A couple of these are just complete and total ass though. I don't know what to do with this. Honey, I got a cold egg. I'm holding on to the old crossbow on the off chance that the merchant ever exists again. Well, I kind of thought from a large egg we we're going to get something cool. Maybe we did. Maybe he's like a crazy cool tombat. Who knows? I, was, I thought for sure large egg would give us something we probably hadn't seen before. So that was incorrect. That was an incorrect assumption. You know what they say about assuming? Fuck you. Yeah, we gotta sort this at least a little bit because we are kind of like running out of boxes and I can't fill the camp with 150 boxes because then everyone will just be stuck forever. Whatever, 11 pointless berries. Those can just rot in there. I don't fucking care. I'll just eat them. I'll just eat them. Fine. That's fine. Bigger eggs are biased towards stronger pals, but it's not exclusive. I mean, Tombat does seem like he's a little bit of a rarer pal. So I'm not saying it's absolutely nothing. It is, however, a little disappointing. 91 ingots. All right, we can build some shit now. What do we need? What's our mission? Fluffy pal beds, which require me to level up, which I did. I did level up from beating up the furry wizard. The furry wizard has been defeated. Now I can learn about fluffy pal beds. Increase the gathering efficiency of pals. I don't think that's gonna fucking matter. Gale Claw's gloves are actually right here. That's really low down the fucking thing. I wanna make metal armor. Mm. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. You're correct. 
Don't, don't ever tell me we don't have cloth again. Make some gigas. Um, uh, small food bag unlocks the feed slot. That seems important. Hey, I can make that one guy not depressed by giving him heroin. That seems reasonable. Wow, she's big. Holy shit. Big lady. Food slot. Okay. That'll auto feed. Oh, so I, I need. Oh, there's five different ones. I see. I see. This fucking big lady. She is huge. Holy shit. What'd I come back here for? I want to go to the repair bench, which is in my house, not behind my house. She is fucking gigantic. Repair bench. My armor broke. Repairing it might be pointless on account of I'm just I'm pretty sure I'm about to make metal armor. Which is why I didn't make a ton of gigaspheres. Uh metal armor. Yeah. Big lady, go. What is that friend? Now she's doing it with wizard magic. Pool. Look. Now the, the with, she's doing what I thought. Daydream was doing. She's just telekinetically making me armor now because she's embarrassed the fucking... She's embarrassed she got defeated by me. Middleman 108 months in the pool. We did this, didn't we? False alarm squid. Yeah, I was like, I fucking swear to God I've done this before for you specifically. We got the double tenure, the tenure repeat. I, saw, I wait to start and I was like, wait a second. I have double work speed now. I'm helping. Oh, you switched to a prime, I see. Seventy. Thirty-five. Okay. Look at us. We, oh, that actually looks kind of cool. All right, hold on. Hold on. I dig this. I'm, I vibe with this. I vibe with this. Right, I need a bunch of electric organs and okay, right, we're still limited by stuff that I'm not really sure where I got any of it in the first place. We need to find a good source of electric pals. I need some electrical fellas. For now though. I gotta sell these or stop carrying them. All right, our, our fuck boys are leveling up. We're getting stronger. I'm going to level 25 island. All right, fuck it. You can't tell me what to do with my life. You can't tell me how to do my job. I'm going to level 25 island. I have a giant furry lady. I have a cat who both wields a gun and then basically just spits a gun. We can make this work. Believe in us. I just have to, uh, I think we have to change our mindscape a little bit. He just went back and killed them both. I have to change our mindscape slightly. I can't do the... Oh my god, please. There. I can't do the sit there and just reball them if they break it thing. While my pal is put away so he doesn't risk killing them. It's just, that's, that's only viable very tiny and n not at all dangerous pals. Now that we're into real boy island where people do real boy damage the, the pals gotta stay out we just gotta hope we can make it work if they break out and I can reball them, cool if not they just die, there'll be more we can't like infinity farm them anymore because they are too strong and they will kill us before we get the 12% chance when they go into pal sphere Right, you motherfuckers. Yeah. 
Oh, look, I ain't learned nothing about type advantages, but I'm pretty fucking sure grass is going to be weak to fire. Fox Sparks attack is highly effective against V-Guard. It said it. It said it on the side, which means that's literally the first time we've used a type effective attack because I've never seen that before. So, you know, earthquake resistant. Yeah, probably because it's fucking flying. Thank you. It will tell you. You actually will get the it's super effective pop-ups. You don't have to guess. It'll tell you. I got pills. Cool. Found someone's fucking stash. This looks like a boss arena. This is not a boss arena. Very boss arena looking, not boss arena. Of course, we die because we fail like 11 25s in a row, and then we throw a single fucking 9% ball, and they're like, yeah, that's good. And then we just get a fucking B guard. All right, Fox Sparks, my, my boy. It's going to be all you up here. I need your spice. This looks like it's Grass Boy Island. We need you to do some shit. You're gonna be carrying. Cause this fucker is also a Grass Boy. What? Try this, come here. Honestly, can't believe that's not a boss. He's trying to grab me? These are mega spheres, by the way. These capture rates. Fuck, these are mega spheres. And one more good hit. And one more good hit. I'll do it too. There we go. My God, these are mega spheres, dude. Yeah. I think I need to stun the time. I think we're at the point where we we need debuffs. These seem to be uncatchable. Hey, you're neutral. Let's try something. Dark. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna attack or are you just gonna let him fucking bully you like that? Yep! Beat the dark! Gorilla rats kind of throwing hands, actually. Whoa! Look at the gorilla rat. Give me the gorilla rat. No, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Find that one. Jesus. Now we're fucking gaming, boys. Now this is this is the game. This is it. We were in easy mode, baby island. This is the fucking game. This is the shit right here. Okay. We may need like a truly comical. Okay, it seems every like even at 2025, it seems like everything below Gigasphere just doesn't work. So we might hmm. need to just make a million billion ingots. Yeah work buddy hmm. you're still on fire <laughs> come on what? don't run for me not on fire anymore hmm. oh shit okay go yeah. fight fight for america yeah. yep. okay i'll cc this one you fight the red yeah. Yeah. 
One down. Ah! I touched it. I fucking touched it. I touched it. I'm a god. I'm fucking unstoppable. Okay. Fuck you, self destruct. It's just like I left my statues. I've literally picked up everyone that I've seen. Oh. I was trying so hard to just kind of guess the timing based on the rhythm of the incredibly aggressive beeping, and we got there. Oh, auto eat is gamer mode. Oh, this is great. Okay. So, this, we're in the game now. It's not gonna, it's not that fucking easy. Catching. Like one catching ah crack catching one pal is difficult. Getting the ten cap is crazy. Like you're you're in giant brawls trying to get single captures, going through dozens of pal spheres to catch one single pal. Yeah, that seems like how it's gonna be now. I'm ready. I'm on board. This is, uh, le again, less of a difficulty spike and more of a difficulty fucking in cliff. This is the difficulty trying to climb out of the Grand Canyon. I'll fucking play. I'll game. I ain't no bitch. Fast travel. Oh, there's another tower out there. In a place that looks like it's cold, which is really funny. They give you the cold and heat resistance gear so early, and I still have yet to see a place that's hot or cold. Oh, like a mountain egg. The Dark Souls of Pokemon. Rush sure fucking feels like it. These bee guards are just like the baseline enemy out here. Please, I'm begging you. Thank you. That's just the default motherfucker. Which, to be fair, it's easy to kill them. It's hard to catch them. So now, I think that's like the biggest pivot yeah. I got to get on my mind is that capturing is difficult. I mean, it always was, but it was because I, want, I had to not crit my last swing. But now it's way fucking harder than killing them. Because this fox sparks, this fox sparks can fight an army of those fuckers as long as they don't suicide bomb them. And if they're going to suicide bomb them, I'll just recall him. And then he won't die. I can't recall myself. I wish I could climb into a fucking pal sphere and not get killed by a jihad bee, but there is nothing up here. I saw the one statue behind me. We think it's better to go that way, probably. Because we'll still be really high up on a pillar. All right, uh, the, the high ground advantage is pretty fucking good. I want the upgraded glider. Seems like it's going to be a mega investment. <gasps> Got something I need to focus on. What the... I need to upgrade a glider. There's fast travel point. I wish this had the Breath of the Wild thing where I could just like look at that and put a little beacon on it for later. That'd be real nice. That'd be really great up here. Because I could see like a lot of stuff. I think we're going that way. Oh, there's a lift mug statue right under me. We're actually going straight down. Okay, good news. Or bad news. I was wrong. That's not a lift mug statue. It's Mega Balls. Good news. There is also a lift mug statue, yeah. though. And just completely unrelated, extremely lucky news. So I think type effectiveness is... Oh, she just fucking killed his ass. Type effectiveness feels like it's really starting to matter because the enemies are so strong. Which we're just having to figure out because if there's anywhere in the game that tells you type effectiveness, I haven't fucking seen it. Oh my god! There's so many! Yeah. Are there evolutions in this game? Does Bee Guard evolve into Eliza Bee, or is this just like the ecosystem? Owie. Fox Sparks, please, what are you doing? Fox Sparks, stop, stop sniffing glue. Hmm. 
Oh, goodbye. What? Crowd control. I'm fucking, like, rooted. Holy shit, we caught that. <gasps> Time to do the thing. Cooker ass! Cooker ass! I'm gonna fucking die. Please! Oh, she killed me. That's fine. Honestly, that's fine. Indebted. All right. We may not have caught it, but let's be real. We probably weren't going to catch it anyway. <laughs> We've seen what catch rates look like on this island. What the fuck's over there? That place looks awesome. Oh, that's the main island. That's the first tower. We probably weren't catching that fucker anyway. <laughs> We've seen the catch rates on the regular bees. I don't think we were catching Elizabeth. That is a fucking boss arena on shithead death island. In the survival guide, I fucking looked in the survival. I mean, it wasn't on. Ah, this one has way more than the Xbox version. This one has way more entries than the Xbox version. Oh, no. Defend yeah. me! The bee guards are coming. They, they found out I killed their queen. I'm fucked. Oh! Hmm. Foxbirds, you fucking champion. You absolute fucking legend. Holy shit. I heard a jihad go off. He dodged it. We both dodged one. Fox Marks also dodged a fucking jihad. Holy shit. It's the Verdant Brook. What a nice place. What a nice peaceful fucking environment. Okay. We need to focus on the goal. Eyes on the prize. The prize is that fucking fast travel point. Oh my god. I just want the fast travel point, dude. Yeah. I just want the fast travel. Kill him. Get the fuck back. Oh, my fox box is stuck by, stuck by the fucking rock. Yeah. We got stunned. Good work, fox sparks. Fucking hose them, baby. All right, fox sparks is fucking them. We're doing good. Objective escape. No, objective light up a fucking fast travel point so I can warp back in here. God, I love you, fox sparks. You beautiful bastard. Over there. Oh, man. This is the fucking horde of them in the what? Uh-oh. Nope. Not for me. Sorry, I already have a furry. I'm at quota. Oh, I'm at, I'm at capacity. Sorry, my team can't take any more furries right now. We have that slot full. Pool's closed. What? Very dark. It's fucking very dark. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hella dark. I can't see shit. Just trying to just work on our way to the fast travel point. We're just trying to get the fucking bee guards. Well, as long as there's not an Elizabeth, we'll be... Oh, my God. The bee guards are sleeping. Shh. The bee guards are sleeping. Bees are happy. They're all sleeping. Just let them, let them live their life. 
They're all taking naps. Everyone's. I don't know what Dark is weak to. I don't want to fight Catrices. I don't know how to kill Dark. They're also way higher level than everything else because they're the nighttime <laughs> fucking Yikes. punishment monster. Please. I just want to touch it. Oh. Hell's a fear? What? That thing looks fucking awesome! Oh, my son. Paralyze him. Why is it playing boss music? Did Sparky just low profile that attack? He's trying to touch me. He's trying to touch me. Fucking touch me. Fuck him up, spark it. Yeah. I'll get a good spear. I'll get a good spear. Oh. Hell yeah, brother! Calls forth lightning from the depths of hell. Once who dies from hell's of fear inferno is sure to be sent to the underworld. <laughs> What the fuck? We found a, a fucking bird that just sends you to hell? <laughs> it's go to hell, mon. <laughs> okay. That trait sounds like it probably bangs too, ferocious. I'm assuming that's just like fuck you damage. That sure sounds like it bangs. Who's hungry? There you go, Merry Christmas. All right, we're alive. We're back at base. We're living. We have more gigas. Gonna need just like a lot more megas. And Paldium, right? I need to find a dungeon. Oh, Jesus. Pretty sure that's an unholy high roll. What's it do? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You had 20% extra damage. Seems like it's solid. Yeah, Flare Storm uh, is terrifying. Shadow Burst is great and Dark Ball's filler. This dude seems like he fucks. All right. Like, he's transported three also. I know we just got boss Catris. But hello, do you fucking see this bird? <laughs> like, I'm you, but cooler. Like that's, and he's a fucking flying mouse. So if I can get Helsefir's saddle, which I probably can't, that's probably in the absolute depths of the tech tree. Yep, there it is. 33. <laughs> Owie. Ugh. It's like the other new stuff we got. That's not the only new Pokemon we got. We got a couple. Um, we got Bee Guard. Unsurprisingly, oh, it's B, B Quiet is the attack. <laughs> Risks its life to cause a violent explosion but receives the honor of falling in battle. Jesus, you do every... Ah! Bee guards are the new cats. Okay. Bee guards are 100% the new cats. They can just do everything. All in team Elizabeth's stats will be increased. Okay, so there's like an Elizabeth build. They also, yeah, I see they farm honey too, which seems like it's just tangentially very useful. Um, the only thing these guys are doing these days is occasionally mining. I would rather take Tombat, who is somewhere. My boy, that's my boy right there. Just leave him in there.
Although this is the first Handicraft 2 we've seen in the whole game. We haven't seen any Handicraft 2s before Catris. So, I don't know what that means because so far we haven't found anything that Handicraft 1 can't do. I don't know if that just means she does it faster. Because if she just does it faster, then having her around the base would actually be super useful. Because Handicraft's the bottleneck a lot of the time. I think we have enough transportators. Your job is currently watering the wheat field. You're the only one that's watering the wheat field. Um... How dies they did forever? No, this is it's still the school of it's they're just KO'd. They're fine. Pansy becomes Catris. She'll run off and find stuff to do. I think that's just where we're at today. Okay. Team dig a hole team. Any of you new fuckers mining foremans, by the way? All right, he was artisan. That's okay. You just like... Oh, she's fast as fuck. Oh, she's fast as fuck. Those are gigaspheres. Okay, yeah, no, that she just does that at incredibly very high speed. Good to know. Oh, gorillas? Right, I got distracted. So many things going on. What do the gorillas do? Good question. Transporter 3, Lumbering 2. Straight upgrade for Mike Thirdier. Straight upgrade for Mike Thirdier. You can stay because you saw the wheat field. And their ability is full power gorilla mode, where you just. They, it's just an attack buff. You just put them into an incredible attack buff. It might actually be a little overloaded on transporters right now because I mean I'd rather be overloaded than underloaded because the reason I have so many is because they're so fucking buggy they just don't do anything half the time so they got there's got to be enough of them to kind of cover up the slack yeah they just go super slam they go full gorilla unga fucking bunga Okay, clear as much inventory space as I can. I'll make old trash go in here too, and I'll just remember that's there when the merchant comes around, because I need more ingots. The ingot throughput is insane. If we pretty much have to use Mega and Gigaspheres as our baseline now, we need so many ingots. We need, like, unholy amounts of ingots. I'm going to go out here because it looked like there was ore absolutely fucking everywhere. Downside is there's also dickheads absolutely fucking everywhere. So we'll just try not to piss anybody off, fail, and then run away. Okay, they're just extremely aggro. Yeah, that's not an option. Okay, you can't harvest here. Yeah, you, you can't harvest this area. They're ridiculously aggro. Okie dokie. Probably the worst place I could go to. It's the middle of nowhere. Is there stuff up by the church, maybe? Forward oh, operating mining base. We do have a second base. I don't know where I want to put it yet. I need one more. One more and my capture power will go up. We do desperately fucking need that. Capturing is getting really... Oh, hi. Really fucking hard. I just see regular rocks. No, this doesn't seem to be a very ore-rich environment. I agree, buddy. Rain Syndicate Tower? Somewhere near this was a pile of like five ores, and I never found it again. It's gonna kill you? Yeah. No, I can't get scared of fucking Kingola, dude. Damn it. Well, I caught him. We do have. I was literally just checking if I had 10, and I do. So, the greatest waste of a Gigasphere in the history of the world. Okay. It's like Master Balling a Piplup. It's like Ultra Balling a Piplup. When you're not quite at the point in the game 
where ultra balls are just like your go-to that you throw at everything because you know you obviously you do hit the point where you just ultra ball everything because you just have so many of them that's obviously a thing that happens we're not quite there yet our ultra balls still hold a little bit of value I don't even want to fucking pick that egg up. I'm being honest with you. I don't even want to pick that egg up. <laughs> Should I? Probably, but I don't feel like it. So the goal is to get... The goal of the game is to get to all the towers and fight the boss in the tower. And the bosses are fights like Zoe. Extremely tanky Pokemon with a hot emo girl riding them. I assume all of that will just be pretty consistent on each tower. Do I have Malpaca saddle? What? I don't. I should make Malpaca saddle just so I can ride her around while I'm doing stuff. Is Zoe the electric one? Yeah, Zoe's the electric one. We just went, we caught back up because we hadn't killed her yet on the uh, Steam version, and now we have. We killed her much fucking faster. Damn, we couldn't throw a spirit hot emo girl. If only. This game may have 2 million concurrent players, but if it wants to have 10 million concurrent players, it should let me throw a pal sphere at hot emo girl. Is all I'm saying. What's up, Rhea Cakes? How you doing? What's in this? Large damp egg. I got. Peng King! Surprisingly, it is unrelated to Pengola. Ever want to be the center of attention? This power will strut its stuff for any onlookers. Okay, I don't think there's evolving. I don't think evolving is in the game. Oh my god! What the fuck is this? Jesus! Handiwork 2, transporting 2, mining 2, watering 2. The problem is I need you to just be on cool the fridge bitch duty forever. Uh, why are you dead? What? Why is my pangolin unconscious? What happened? I'm starting to get to the point where I'm losing a lot of carry uh, inventory capacity just from my gear. Mega glider go. Yep. Furry waifu. Oh, they're eating honey! Oh, the honey goes in the food box! No, stop! No, we need that for other things. That's not food. Yet, it will become food. We have to get there. Can I change my mic? Can I have the mail pack as saddle? I skipped it because I didn't give a shit. Uh, but now I've decided I care. Just because it's easy to get to ride around while I'm mining. I have no fucking paldium. I have none. We have none paldium. Now we have lots of wheat. Our wheat throughput's going pretty well. Need some paldium. We need the honey for fucking. We need the honey for fucking! Okay. It's actually true, I can just. <laughs> 1700 pounds of wood. Help. Can you stupid ass transporters please figure this shit out? I wish having transporters wasn't actively detrimental. punching the box because he's a fucking maroon. The 
Just separate these so the things I don't want them to eat just end up in the back. Herb roasted lamb ball. Make some chickpea saute. So we'll make sure oh, we put these back here. Now it's safe. Make sure everyone's happy. Get you some good sanity food. There you go. Enjoy mega glider. Not curious how much of a difference. I, mean, I am curious how much of a difference that makes. I'm not curious. I am very curious how much of a difference that makes. Question. Everything's getting really fucking hard. Beautiful flower. Never seen one of those before. 40 cement, we'll figure out. 50 ingots, I can get there. And then smelting speed will increase. Anyway, I did all that so I could make a shitty saddle. Hmm. Let's work on this, my son. This game's pretty fucking addictive, huh? I've been working playing two-man co-op. It's been really fun. It's got so much. There's just so much in it. There's so much game in this game. It's crazy. There's, the more I play, like normally, many other inferior games, the more you play, the more you're like, okay, I know what I, I, I've seen all this, I know what I'm about, yada, yada, yada. The more of this shit I play, it's just the more stuff that I find that I want to do. The amount of things I want to do doesn't go down, it goes up. The amount of things I'm interested in just keeps increasing. Okay. There's not ore up here. Oh, back at, where was the damn ore? There was a huge... Fucking... Okay, you guys enjoy your war. I'm busy. I wish you all the best. What's this? What the fuck is this? My pack has gone off to join the fucking resistance. <laughs> My pack has got two kills. Oh, she's back. Nobody expected this to be a video game. I thought it was going to be a funny meme, dude. I wasn't like confident but I didn't really expect to play this for more than a stream or two I thought this was gonna be he who funny we were gonna play it for a stream or two and then go ha Pokemon with guns was funny and then move on but oh my god that's not what's happening like I would, I would like to formally apologize to Iceborne for getting shelved by this shit because that that sucks it sucks, Iceborne. Is that a fucking merchant? It's a merchant with a comically heavily armored guard who has an assault rifle and would. My money is all back in my face. He doesn't even sell wheat seeds. What the fuck is implode? All three of these just sound very interesting. Now, I can't mark this on the map, so everyone needs to look at this spot and remember it. Because I'm gonna go grab all of my money, and we're gonna come back. And we're gonna commit capitalism. I was wondering if that was faster than running. It's not, no. Help. Here we go. Remember, guys, it's right there. I need you guys important. I need you guys to remember that. And all my cash. I have no concept of how much money I have. 5k. 
And then I got a couple of things to sell, and we're gonna find out if keeping old gear to sell is worth it literally at all. We'll learn. Because I don't know if that guy is gonna go away at night. I absolutely need to make sure I commit commerce. He doesn't have the weed seeds I wanted. Not that it, I guess it doesn't matter as much anymore. We're building up a really good base of flour. So we have plenty of flour to commit breeding for now. Obviously, we're going to... Like, if that's the thing we want to get into. I kind of want to buy some milk. It seems... A little fruitless, because I'm sure milk comes in great fucking quantities. And he's gone. I'm sure milk comes in great fucking quantities. So we really do. We have to... Anything we want to sell... We have to carry on our person 24 7. if we have stuff that we want to offload we carry it until it's sold 100 percent of the time we can't put it down i don't want to do a dungeon without my not battle team but now we know there's a dungeon over here that's good intel this is we're gonna come back and do that for sure we're gonna destroy that shit <sighs> well that's the first wandering trader we've seen in about 12 hours if i have one complaint he said definitely having several one complaints merchants are way too fucking rare they are like massively comically rare And you need them, like, a lot for a lot of stuff. And they are ridiculously, absurdly rare. And you can only interact with them right there on the spot. There's no opportunity to go back and, like, grab your fucking money or anything you can buy everything they have that you want with the change you have in your pocket that exact second or they functionally didn't spawn i remember that one relaxosaurus for that one time there was a relaxosaurus right here and then we never saw him again He was called a relaxosaurus, but he wasn't very relaxed. He was extremely angry. Very grumpy little guy. I'll catch another chill it. Fuck it, we're out here. Why not? Gotta chill it to the chill it throne. Funny butter weasel. I guess that was just a super rare spawn. I'm pretty sure it was during the daytime. I don't think it was at night when the... Oops, a little too much. That's okay, well... Honestly, with that knowledge, I'm throwing all my old gear on the floor. It's not worth it. If it's a good functionally unsellable, it's not worth it. Where the fuck are you going? Hey! Get up, Melpaca. Do stuff to him. The Mel Pack a headbutt's pretty fucking funny. Oh, he juked the shit out of you. Oh, get back in the ball. That's shame. Here, I'll save you the fucking embarrassment. Get back in the sphere. That was incredibly shameful. You hate to see it. Like, I don't care if I catch you, so you're not getting a better ball. Thank you. Logging for me. <gasps> Any miners? Any oh. miners? No? No miners? That's okay. I'll take my 27th logging for Thank you. All right. How's Giga Glider? 
dramatically reduced stamina drain. Is it? I thought it wasn't for... <laughs> She's so hateful. She's so angry. Alpaca just wants blood. She thirsts for murder. <laughs> Very truly unnecessary murder. <laughs> Booly. Little bit of fucking bully yet. Just a little bit. Alright, fellas, we're gonna go do a dungeon. I don't want I didn't think about it. Okay, I obviously didn't think it through, so. <laughs> We all, we all saw it. We all know what happened. Look, I just, I didn't. Very, I clearly didn't have the thought. Okay. You guys enjoying your herb roasted lamb balls? Your delicious gourmet business. Yeah, nothing happened. Shut up. <laughs> just don't fucking talk to me. Oh wait, Chili got boobed from the team just because I put him in the box because he got KO'd and then I just forgot about him. So that's really unfortunate for him. <laughs> like, is he probably better than Catasaurus? Yeah. Catasaurus is funny. I mean, if we're going to be real, I think the weakest member of the team is Lifmonk. I think Lifmonk is only here because funny SMG EV. However, funny SMG EV is a fucking ridiculously strong argument. So, you know, that's why she's still here. I don't ever want you to ask me for nails again. Thank you. We're doing a fucking dungeon, okay? We're doing a fucking, we're doing a goddamn dungeon. I mean, there's one like right here. Let's go, fellas. Catasaurus sense even if no pets. Where my where my cat? Give me my fella. Yeah. Let's go on a journey, brother. Da -da 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 Squidish gets on his Catasaurus without going. Da -da 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 Challenge difficulty impossible. <laughs> Do you move? Wait, your moves changed. Hey, where's your where's your air gun? What? This seems like it sucks ass, if I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if there's stab in this game. But I'm going to skew towards... Using your normals. Seems like it makes logical sense to me. Yeah, you paldium real bad, so we're gonna mine a lot of fucking paldium in here. Yeah, obviously, I'm also gonna catch Shilamari, except I'm gonna crit him and he's gonna die. Yeah. Okay, in you go. Yeah. Wow. You know the laws of this land. Pop out the ball, you get poked. Commit the survival craft sin. What'd you do? What'd you fuck up? Oh, I've died in a place that's an environmental hazard. Ooh. I'm being honest, that's part of why I don't want to go to the icy mountain. I'm I'm putting that off for a degree of a reason, and that's that's a big chunk of it. Because I know how much that stuff sucks. That shit sucks every fucking time. I don't want to go to the place that requires my special gear to deal with it because I'm going to die and I'm not going to have my special gear. Let's try you out, buddy. Yeah. Go fuck up all those guys. You can't hit them. Um... Well, I have bad news. 
The bird appears to be an idiot. When he hits, they fucking die, though. Dark Ball being power 40 and just straight up one-shotting people makes me feel like there is stab bonus. That should not be one-tapping people. I think it flies to struggle with pulses because the pulse comes out there, hype. Yeah. What? How the fuck did I do that? That's just kind of impressive. That is a, gonna be a large problem. Small target is big enemy. Yeah. I think fly, uh, but I think Bazda's right in the flying pal just isn't gonna synergize well with the AOE. Which is sucky, because the AoEs seem like they are some of the best attacks in the fucking game. The AoEs are so good. Especially the status ones. It's really just like... Maybe it's it's really just this little rat fuck. What? This little dickhead. This little rat fuck ass bitch. Who has this little point blank electric AoE. That also inflicts paralysis. And it seems absurdly good. Maybe it's just because he's got a status on his that it seems so strong. Ones that just do damage might be fine. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see how you just fight the monk. I usually just pull you out to be a gun. We've got a couple of new attacks recently. Let's see what you're about these days. How do you prefer to hose down your foes? You have what I'm pretty sure is just gun, but it comes out of your mouth. I'm pretty sure I saw you get that. It seems like it could be useful. Go fight hmm. those guys. I'm going to catch this fuddler. Yeah. One kind of seems like she's fucking, uh... Alright, let's actually watch this time. It literally is just a gun. It makes gun sounds! What the fuck?! Livmuck just opens her mouth and there's a gun. Like, <laughs> she's a fucking transformer. <laughs> right, how about you, Fox Sparks? You have all the fun attacks now, I think. Which seems pretty good. I think you got all the good shit that kills people. You may not have a machine gun in your mouth, like Livmuck, but, you know... You're a spicy fox. Categorically, it's in the, in the name, really. The feedback's really cool. I make a new sound asset. One gun do trick. It doesn't even look like it's projectiles. It looks like it's a cone of like gas or something. It's definitely not that. It makes bullet sounds. Because it's bullets. It's a gun. I see. Hear me. Okay. Well, this didn't lead anywhere. Paldium fragments are like half of my motivation for... Oh. 
Okay. The metal being named Paldium isn't even as stupid as Unobtainium. They could have gotten dumber. I don't know, man. I appreciate the Unobtainium meme. I'm here for the Unobtainium meme. Oh, daydreams. Hi, daydreams. Yeah. Come on out, little buddy. I'm gonna poke you. That's what I fucking thought. Stay in my balls. I need your XP. Okay, let's. Yeah. I love when she just jumps backwards to fucking Brazil. <laughs> She's like, nah. Wink. 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 Get him, Fox Sparks. Oh. This man was forged and tempered in the World of Warcraft arena. The pillar will protect you. Okay. My buddy started playing Power World. He got a chicken with a ferocious and muscle head uh, traits. That's plus 20% and plus 30% attack. Battle chicken fucks. Battle chicken's here to throw hands. You got your phone nearby? See if you got a text message. No, I did not. Okay. I was wondering why I had six Discord messages. I assume it's related. All right, who's in here? Shitty monkey! All right, shitty monkey. I'm just gonna go Ooh. Kobe. What happens if you throw your pal spear into a fucking pit? He's on fire. Oh. Wow. I you're a little softer than I thought you were. He, uh... He was made of bitch. <laughs> he was, uh... He was made of bitch. I did have 10 of those. Okay, I was pretty sure I did. I would appreciate quality of life. Some kind of little indicator on a pal when you look at them that you have or have not already caught 10 of them. Boy. <laughs> okay. Don't mind if I do. This is probably going to take like 170 ingots. The thing that sucks is I'm about to make a fucking musket. Like, do I even want to do this? I'm about to make a musket. I was going to make a gun. Like an actual gun. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Grand Tail. I just wanted to ride you. Leave the tiny chicken man alone. He didn't do anything wrong. Are you sure? <laughs> Is he taking cover? Get him. Get him. Got him! <laughs> I thought he started descending faster. a lot further away than I thought he was, actually. He's still a lot further away than I thought he was. He's still a lot further away than I thought he was. Yeah. Alright, he made it. <sighs> Serious and swift. He'd be a great fucking worker. Actually, I should poke my head in this cave and see if I can find another Paldium deposit, because I need some Paldium. 
Wait, did this say the boss was alive? Did this... Is this... Uh, has... This is reset? Oh. Oh, sure. I mean, I'll kill the boss too, I guess. Oh, Swift makes good mount. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, thanks, Palium. <laughs> you're so smart. You have such a big... You have such a big brain. Don't work, little kitty. Don't work, little kitty. Must is more proto. Ah, fuck. All right. Can I ride you in here? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go find the boss. I can't. I can't not do it. It's mandatory. What the fuck? In fate. <laughs> Hi. That guy was like, never mind. I don't want to die. He's just looking like, hmm. Oh my god, this is a huge one. Wait, is that the boss? This one has like three interconnected four way paths. I thought maybe with the little viney things on the side. Okay, I'm just gonna guess it's this way. Did I win? No, I didn't win. I'm the opposite of one. This is a fucking dead end. This cave is huge. I just wanted to kill a boss real quick. This shit goes on forever. Oh my god, it actually does go on forever. No, there's not more. This is the opposite of what I wanted. I'm surprised the cat fits through there. Have you seen cat squeeze into a hole? Cat fits where he wants to fit. He may be a big boy, and he's a big boy. Don't make any mistake. But you know, can't fit where he want to fit. It's mostly just floop. He's not really that big. He's just floop. Cats are liquid. Exactly. They expand to fit the size of their container. Did this kill you? Cool. Did this kill you? Oh, it's that weird attack. I can't hit you with anything because you'll die. <laughs> You're a little infant baby. Grintail, go! His name's even Grintail. How much more Cheshire Cat could it be? He's named... Okay, this is the limit of cat technology. You can't fit through there. Pucrates! And yeah, we don't know what Dark is weak to. But I'll bet. It's gone. Hmm. Yeah. Live on, get him. Mind foreman. Get him. I like how I poked him, he looks at my lift mug. Oh, you, you're gonna wish you hadn't done that. I don't know what the correct answer was, but it sure as shit wasn't that. You better stay in that fucking ball. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were warned. This is a silly game. This is a silly game. This is a very silly game. Yes, this this game is just fucking derpy. This is... <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's go back. They've aimed for a lot of things with it, and none of them were be serious. Hi, everybody. It's me. What are you doing? 
Okay. <laughs> Okay. Good news is, from our dungeon escapades, we have a pretty decent amount of just random stuff that's useful. Precious claw can go in here too. Uh, that can go in here. This can go in. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't really want this. Uh, bingus, bingus. I just have to carry all my money in case a merchant shows up. I don't know. What's How much does this weigh? Money doesn't have weight. I guess you're kind of intended to just carry all of your money. Okay, fine. I'll just carry it around. I'll keep doing that. So what does it take to make... Honestly, not bad at all. Six ancient civilization parts hurts a little. 45 ingots hurts a little. You know what? Pretty sure it'll be worth it. Okay. We like a lazy tabletop game. Money doesn't have weight. What'd you turn into? Mine foreman. Good news, everyone. The mine foremen are rallying. Our mining trips are about to become god tier. Raid fangirls who can't contain their love. I'm worried. I have fear in my heart. I've never been so afraid of anything. That's the most terrifying <laughs> sentence I've ever read in my life. I need fire. I did a lot of fire. Oh, what the? F they are big and they're quite tanky. It's the new Pokemon. Fucking B card just blew itself up. Oh, we didn't get to catch any. On account of they were murdered with absolute prejudice, as they should be. Okay. Well, back to work, everybody. Oh, did I catch the first one? I thought that was the one that died last. I thought that was the one that popped out at the very end. Oh, I did catch one. Never mind, you're right, I got one. And she's ferocious. Okie dokie. Low vein. It would find together grants the player and low van to lifesteal effect. That seems really fucking good. All right, hold on. So while fighting together, so that sounds like she has to be out. And she has, she got rolled 20% bonus attack, which is pretty sick. Okay. Also, my B fucking exploded, so... <laughs> Can you just... Stop... Exploding. <laughs> no more B quiet, okay? You don't... You don't need B quiet right now. It's... I wonder how powerful the lifesteal is. Usually lifesteal's really fucking good. But you have... This one's also, this was a great fucking catch. Okay, hold on, where are the minor, okay, before I get distracted, what I was doing? Finding foreman. I just caught a bunch of people with really good traits. And then I have this bird who has serious and swift, which means it's a 30% increased movement speed on a pal that can be a flying mount. That seems pretty good. Seems like it's probably worth having, and it's literally the only thing I can't make in the entire fucking PAL gear menu. Because it needs more ingots. I don't know, there should be a bunch of ingots back here. 
There are a bunch of ingots back here. Problem solved. I got suspicious juice. Take this weird sauce. That's still going to take 100 hours, but you know, it's getting there. Oh God, I left the door open. Random animals are, oh, that's my random animal. Yeah. That's fine, you get a pass. Make me a bird saddle. Oh Jesus. Okay, you know what? Every time this shit comes up, it makes a really good argument for work speed. We're doing good. Sam was fucking down. It's okay. I just gave her crack. It's fine. <laughs> a little crack is a treat. You know, you've earned it. There's a after a hard day's work, unwind with some crack. <laughs> It'll make you fast. It'll also make you sad. You know, the six of one half dozen of the other. How about the dex entries? There's probably a fucking ton of dex entries. I've I've tried to read them as they pop up, but there's I have there's been a bunch I haven't read I think. Let me look. Yes, I've seen everyone spamming about fucking Lovander's dex entry on literally the first day. So like you all already know it. You guys quite literally can't fucking keep it in your pants. I just realized that was what you wanted me to me to go look at. Yes, I saw 27 people spamming about it within one hour of this game releasing. I know. Would have been funny to read and learn together, but people literally can't fucking control themselves. Gimme. Thank you, small rat that's not Pikachu. I think, oh, I haven't put it in the thing yet. I need to put my ice egg in there so I can get probably the same thing. Boink. All right, let's daydreams. Oh no. What do you mean by the fucking the crack had negative consequences? Don't I have medicine somewhere? Not that I'd ever be able to find it just by the very nature of how this game works, but I'm pretty sure there's medicine somewhere. Is it in here? It isn't here. Uh -huh. This is colds and sprains. Okay, what's fractures? Hold on. So that crack juice was kind of pointless because she only worked for like five fuck. Oh, the medical supplies. I can get rid of them. That was kind of pointless because she worked for five seconds and then her fucking shins exploded. <laughs> You're a daydream. What bones? You have bones? I guess you look like you probably have bones. Here. Take these pills. Take this bone healing, these magical bone fixing pills. There you go. <laughs> Take these pills to recover from that crack. <laughs> I'm a good trainer. Only the best for my fuck ass little Pokemon. <laughs> I'm helping. Increase work speed food, and then I'll help her work on the crossbow. Jesus! Come on! <laughs> so, I have a schematic for the feather headband, which is technology that I never unlocked because the text on the box says that it requires stuff that it actually doesn't. But I got the thing anyway. Which means I guess I could just make instead of destroying these I could just make some nicer beds. Make like a nice little area here. 
We'll have a good little campfire. Do I have anything better for campfires yet? <laughs> Need something to keep them warm. Just a mounted torch. I didn't unlock mounted torch because it's stupid. But this is a good situation for it, actually. There you go. <laughs> Look at her craft! She just wizard hammers! I love her! She's beautiful! She just does the wizard hammer with her hand. She's made of magic. What the fuck do I need for this? Right, a million electric organs. What do I need for this? Right, whatever the fuck pal oil is. Oh, right, the 45 ingots. Oh, right, the 22 nails. Oh, wait, no, it's already crafting. All right. Bam! Go back to working on the crossbow. Do this later. Man, you fucking daydream so slow. <laughs> Okay, let's do science. You're swift. <gasps> I can ride you. Yep. Oh, this seems fucking ballin'. Okay, this this seems like really good. So flying takes stamina. This. Okay. This, you know, this has changed. The game has changed. This is something we should have done uh, probably a very long time ago. When we could have gotten a bird in like the third section of the tech tree. This is nuts. It's also, it feels like it's about as fast as the cat. It does have swift, which is an insane fucking roll. <laughs> the fucking... The daydream that's supposed to be working on the crossbow got mm. upset. I'm, like, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, dude. I just want to see the crossbow. Is it too much to ask? Not what I wanted. Wasn't even remotely facing you. Thank you, good work. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, dude, I'm gonna shit! Thank you. Okay. What's. <laughs> This game's got some real fucking severe one button syndrome. I'll tell you that. The button's F. F is the everything button. It's interact with a table. It's pick up a motherfucker. It's use a box. It's fucking loot. It's absolutely everything is F. F is 85% of the game. Okay. This. Not that one, this one. There we go. I don't know where Brent is. I gotta go, like, as soon as Bryn gets here. I'm just... I need... Bryn to exist for ride reasons. So we can go get things done before I have to run Secrets Between the Stars. Up. 
Just want my crossbow. I don't need a gun. I'm just gonna be crossbow man. I'm gonna be crossbows Johnson. Three sixty four. Okay, so the difference between common and not common is massively, hugely bigger than the difference between various tiers. Like, like infinitely bigger. And now we know. And knowing is half the battle. I will say, I'm, uh, I would say, well, very, very whelmed by that one. The difference between common and uncommon was like twice as big as the difference between uncommon and epic, which skips a tier because there's rare too. Skipped a whole tier and it was less of a difference. kind of disappointing but i suppose understandable because otherwise i guess they don't want it to be better than next weapon they don't want it to outshine the musket you know that kind of that was the thing that i wanted it to do i haven't seen a musket i don't know how good a musket is but i wanted to kind of like be strong welcome back Spear assembly line and a power generator. All right, so clearly the game at this point expects me to have met more than one electric Pokemon that I found in a prison camp. They... <laughs> Silo. I'm first planting it. Okay, we're getting more pianos. We're getting an entire thing of pianos. We need two more levels. Mounted crossbow. A sign up how with handiworks and ability and it will just sit on the mounted crossbow and be a gun. Obviously, makeshift pistol. Heat resistant metal armor. Okay, we're getting into the fancy metal stuff now. How hard is it to make a pistol compared to a musket? But twice as hard. I assume. You will have a magazine and will have the advantage of me being able to just like shoot you a bunch instead of just going pa like the musket and probably the musket price to reload like the crossbow. Probably even longer than the crossbow. It's a fucking musket. You're doing good work, Catris. You're gaming. I appreciate you. Make me all these arrows. Okie dokie. Regardless of whether or not I have a ride. Because I need to run the show tonight i gotta do everything that i gotta do everything that i would normally gotta do in the evening in the next like hour and a half so i actually don't think i'm gonna have time to even go out and do anything at this point i think it's too late now for us to go to the mechanic that's okay i got other stuff i still gotta do though i gotta hop out we started early. We went to almost the normal stop time. We got a solid five and a half hour stream in. I will see you guys in like three hours <laughs> for Secrets Between the Stars. Or you're not going to see me. I'm going to be filling in uh, running the thing over at twitch.tv slash UGT show. Season two of our Star Founder campaign. And I'll be back here tomorrow afternoon. Regular time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Regular place. This channel, twitch.tv slash squiddish. I hope you know who you are. <laughs> Power World! Okay, bye. We got such great fucking pals today, man. They're gaming so hard. I'm so proud of them.